Oh boy. Look at this. Look at this silly hunting game I found. Which probably will be really short and I won't get addicted. Most likely. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy, it's Monster Hunter 3. Remember this one? Remember this one? You can swim in this one. And that's it. <laughs> um... I love Monster Hunter, okay? That's what I have to say. I love this franchise. It's really important to me. And I played this one, but I played... I mean, I played the original on the Wii. Monster Hunter 3, or, you know, Monster Hunter 3, if you are one of those guys. And uh, I played 3 Ultimate, but on the 3DS. Not on, not on the Wii U. Is there any difference? No. Well, the main difference is that you cannot play online on the 3DS. 3DS was offline only, just like the old... PSP days back in the day. Why did they do that? I guess that's to emulate PSP, I guess, but why are you emulating PSP on a 3DS? But it's in whatever. Point is, um, this is my first Monster Hunter. Then again, 3 on the Wii, not Ultimate, the standard 3, but it's the same game with more content. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing more. Monster Hunter 3, Monster Hunter 3, um, PSP Japan only, and P Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. It's the same thing. It just, you know, more monster. But that's it, like... Uh, <laughs> it's Monster Hunter, there's nothing else to say, like... Probably the biggest thing to say here is... You can swim. <laughs> that's it. That's probably the biggest gimmick here. If not the only one. Everything else is Monster Hunter. So, okay, what's up, boys? What's up? Um... I have nothing else to say, like I love Monster Hunter. Let's see, let's see if I get emotional playing this game, because... This game has an important place in my heart. And... Uh, I like how I'm using the gamepad. I, I, you know, the, the Wii U gamepad, you know that one. I have Chacha telling me, look at the main screen, Cha. Okay. And now we have our hero. Nice, dude. Oh, by the way, cool thing. Um, you need to update the game. I didn't do it because I know I, I just set up everything right now. I'm not in the mood to open up Wi-Fi bullshit on here and there. So right now, game is like not patch. I don't even know. I need to think of a funny name. I'm thinking of doing um a comeback from Monster Hunter 1. When I stream Monster Hunter 1, I named the hero Speroni. <laughs> so maybe he can do a comeback right now. A silly one, if you will. I would like to raise the volume of the game a little bit. Good enough, I guess. So, funny names. Right now, I cannot think of anything funny. So might as well go with Speroni. Let's just create our hero. Yeah, that's not, that's it. Besides, I mean, creating a hero in this game is... irrelevant. Mostly because... especially if you are male, because... almost every single piece of armor in this game... gives you a helmet. I mean, not every single one of them, but the point is, almost every single male piece of armor, every single, almost every male helmet gives you, it called your face, that's the point, I'm gonna go for this one. As I said, not all of them, can even create the character I created from the original thing. A grandpa. Nice. <laughs> I mean, I can be a classic dude and a classic girl. A man that refuses to grow up and create the the character I created for Origin of 3. And I guess I think I used that one in 3 Ultimate too. Any place if you are you. Well, well I mean, today it's only a uh, main story only. <laughs> Good hairstyle. Absolutely. By the way, this is the most important thing when creating a character, the voice. Yeah. 
This was my voice. This is I, this is the voice I created back in the day. <laughs> and this was my friend's voice. I still remember it. I still remember it. One. I like this one. Oh yeah! Okay, make ten, I guess. I don't even care about this one, honestly. Like as intelligent. Features. Define feature. Oh, just a beer. Just a beer. Hair color. I don't even care. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go green here, why not? Okay, I'm done, I'm with a funny name. Nice, dude. Get your cool stuff. Get your cool weaponry, I mean... I don't mind playing online. Like, dedicate one day per week to the hub and play online. I think. Yeah, sorry. Um... Call him Nishiki. This ain't Nishiki, I cannot make Nishiki. <laughs> Nishiki being the main character in Omori, being the main character in Monster Hunter 3. If I can do something, if the game allows you to customize the face, absolutely. But still I cannot do it. So your name... What if this is Struknu? What if I get... Struknu, finally! Patapon, just got him Patapon. Struknu, it's him! Struknu real? No way. Finally, Struknu is real. <laughs> I don't even care. Everything on the gamepad? No, I want to see the. I, listen, the less I look at the gamepad, the better, honestly. I think I'm going for a standard. Patapon. Nishiki is everywhere. I'm going for a standard. I, I, I don't want to look at the gamepad just to check my health. Oh, how, how close am I to dying? I know. Let me check on the screen. Yo, Struknu. Oh, by the way, Nishiki is back. He's my roommate. That's the whole point. Dude lives with me. There's nothing I can do. Okay, now something I said before, I don't know how much I will stream Monster Hunter. I don't know if I will do the, you know. But I say we'll take it easy after lost judgment. And then I was playing Pikmin, beating the game in one sitting <laughs> for one day. <laughs> now, I don't know if I will just play a shit of this game every day or just take it easy, but this game can be really long. Like, I mean, the main objective is to beat the main story, which I think even in Ultimate, the Saed, Kaedus, Saedus, Sidus, whatever it's pronounced. I think that is still the final boss. The second objective, though, will be defeat uh, Dire Miralis from the online lobbies. But then again, I'm not doing that alone. <laughs> and I absolutely wouldn't mind that it's coming back to this game just to play online. Even if I'm playing with whatever, I'll go back with this. The hours in Isin it's fine. I mean, my problem with Yagusa Isin is the more you play, the less fun it is. I don't even know how to explain that. 
Like, I don't know, maybe because I became way too powerful or something, and the game wasn't as challenging. Or you are just doing way too much damage and you're just a nonsensical battle machine. Nesik is my roommate. Why is everyone showing their ass? Okay, so welcome to Monster Hunter 3, uh, the only one where you can swim. Everybody hated swimming. But now that swimming is gone, everybody wants swimming back. At least I do. <laughs> yeah, of course they're not giving you that for free. This is this is Patapon, but uh, with hunters. This is a constant hunting mission from Patapon. Thoughts of the Monster Hunter movie? You mean the one with uh, Mila Djokovic? I haven't watched that. I, I really don't want to see that. Like, Why are we bringing tanks and assault rifles to a, to a Diablos? <laughs> why, why, why would she even do that? <laughs> 30 years younger. Oh, by the way, uh, there is a little bit of delay. Because, you know, it's the streaming thing. But whatever, it's not gonna be a baby like, oh, I died by delay. No, if I die, it's because I'm a bitch, okay? If I die, because I'm a bitch. Nothing else. Oh, hello, a skill. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? How are we hanging? I hope everybody's fine today. I mean, I'm doing fine. I'm playing Monster Hunter. I'm happy. I mean, I'm playing old school Monster Hunter, which is gonna be really weird after so many hours in Rise. It's gonna be really, really weird. I really don't care the dialogue, by the way. You see, I said many times, Monster Hunter story, big monster. You come here to fight big monster. You kill big monster, then you kill bigger monster until you fight the monster from the cover. And then for the most part, you defeat the monster of the cover and it's like, wait, there's an even bigger monster. No way. And that's it. Congratulations, you just, you just played every single Monster Hunter game. Neko means cut. <laughs> cool name. Wakaru. I think I need to talk to everyone. I have sent a phone. Oh yeah, but since... I mean, I wanted to put the Discord noise back ever since I finished Lost Judgment because, you know, it was the Lost Judgment ending and I was like, let's try to get this a bit seriously. Check the main screen. Not yet. Sweetheart. <laughs> uh, let me activate the funnies. Okay, now Discord sounds are back. What even is this? What did you send? You send that. What even is this? Wait a second. What even is this? It's the entire scene, right? It's the entire scene. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh shit! It, was that Jimmy? <laughs> Insane. They just animated the entire speech. But what is this obsession with? Why is there signal everywhere here? Why, why is that signal everywhere? <laughs> I mean, say nothing. Just it's a takeover, I guess. Oh, thank you, Ichiman. Thank you, thank you, Ichiman, for being fucking insane. But there's nothing more insane than me. <laughs> yeah. Weak to thunder that much. Can you skip this? Nope. Dude, there are some frames dropping. I don't know if it's the game or the capture card. Imagine your console lagging on an old school Monster Hunter game. Can I get a switch axe? Yeah. That's my, that's my weapon of choice. In Real Monster Hunter 3, there were some weapons missing. Like, you, don't, you didn't have the katana or the longsword or the gun lance. There was some stuff missing. And as far as I remember, you start with Soul and Seal, and that's it. Now, every Monster Hunter game gives you everything. You didn't know the patch. What did, does the patch improve the frame rate? I hope I have a space on my Wii U, by the way. I have... Uh, because I have the uh, wide Wii U. The one with 8 gigabytes. I have that one only because... It came with Super Smash Brothers. That's it. And I remember by buying a hard drive just to play Xenoblade X. I regret nothing. Oh yes, the thing we miss the most in modern day Monster Hunter, in Monster Hunter Rise at least. Because this this guy is in war. Yes. Nameless, okay. We need a cool name. Romeo. Killer. T Bone. What is crispy bacon? Oh no. Cuigo. Mucho. Oh, man. I'm calling him Omega. You are named after my biggest villain up to date. I miss this little guy in... I miss this little guy in rice. Nice. Awesome. Pig has been petted. There were a thousand of urban legends telling the talking petting him gives you more items. Oh by the way, no to save. We need to save like old school. It's still for me insane that every single Monster Hunter game is the same. Anti-world. And yes, I'm not even kidding. I love this franchise, but every game is kind of the same. <laughs> I will have Omega with us. Okay, Omega Goods. No! No! There you go. Finally, boys, hunting. By the way, I really hope the game doesn't start with frames all the time. I think I know how to play the game. I'm gonna guess because it's the capture card. Yes. Damn, now this is old school switch hacks. Oh yeah, you say you hide your weapon by using item. You just don't, just don't run and hold the weapon. 
Dude, I'm gonna be so confused after so many hours of rise. Like, so many hours of rise, and suddenly now you play this? Yikes. Oh. Oh, whatever. Today it's fine. Nice. Everything's the same. When was the... I think it was... Now? Yeah, it was now. Everything feels more clunky. Oh wait, it's weapon switch with R1. Never mind. Oh yeah, it was... Oh yeah, I just remember. It was more... Um, It wasn't as smooth or whatever you wanna call that. You know, like the new one that you can almost switch anytime. It's gonna take a while for me to get used to this again. Can you play the game? Like, you wanna know what's going to be the funniest thing? Capturing monsters. Like, capturing monsters up in the new mm. ones... Basically has no... The game is basically telling you when you can capture them. In the old ones... It was like... No. You get good or you die time. It's gonna be weird because after playing Rise and I think also in War, you can switch between Axe and Sword at any time. Now here you cannot. Yeah. I mean, what my point is in the new ones, the game actually tells you when you can capture them. Like in Rise, you have your your cat or your dog, whatever they're like. Now you can capture the monster, and you even have icons on the map. In this game, it's like, fuck you. you the only help you get are a skill, and you need to use paintballs. Which, by the way, paintballs, the monster is not revealed all the time. Any character in Super Smash Brothers? Ooh. I don't know, dude. Listen, one of my favorite franchises of all time is Tenchu. Getting... Ricky Maru in there would be awesome, but I think if we need to put that ninja in Super Smash Brothers, I'll say Ryu Hayabusa is a better choice. Tough choice. Yeah, at least I got ten too. I will put in the character everybody hates the most. You know what I will put in Super Smash Brothers? Another Fire Emblem character. Screw everyone. I want I want to see everyone mad. <laughs> I want to see everyone mad. <laughs> Another Fire Emblem guy. Oh, I just remember. I think the beginning of Monster Hunter 3 is the slowest of them all. You need to do a lot of weird mission tutorials. You, you're asking a lot, like, asking who, who owns a Wii U is already... I say only a Wii U is kind of a balancing. <laughs> yeah, yes, remember, this is um, a lot slower than your average Monster Hunter game. Wait, there wasn't there a way to just... Oh, who say? We say? Oh. I mean, I guess I need to remember the controls. Or maybe it's not just the control, it's just the... You know... How this whole game works. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! X plus A! It's a thing in this game a lot. Ooh. Also, this thing is in this game. There you go. 
<laughs> you can kick. I just remember. Listen, things are coming back to memory slowly and gently. This is how a life is taken. I cannot wait to feel emotional because of all the memories coming back. <laughs> like, when was Original 3 released? Like, Monster Hunter 3. Release date. 2009. August 1st, 2009. But it was Europe or just Japan? 2013. I think not. We. 2010. April 20, 23rd, 2020, 2010. Yes, I can talk. Yikes. This game is 10 years old. Well, this game is 13 years old. Yeah, game is old. Did you know? Games get old. We had a really, really long time. I was like 14 when this game comes out, came out. And the real on the Wii, I mean, I was 14. Yeah, now you. Four points. That's just not. Yeah, I don't know how much time I will spend with doing everything. Just cool armor, cool weapon, that's it, I'm happy. Great weapons. Bonax. Mostly I will focus on switch axe and great swords, most likely. I mean, I can be swapping from time to time to something different. I also like a sword and seal, but that most, but that's mostly on the new ones. It feels more, it feels more smooth to, to play. Nice. So I guess you can... Yeah, this tutorial was the slowest one. In tutorial, call it whatever you want. Girl with the goods. Give me potions. Oh, she's not selling potions. Jeez. Yeah, it's weird going back from the new ones into this one. I guess I need to... Yeah, I need resources. It's really weird because you can feel the... How archaic this is. Old school. If you will. The last one that was like this was Generations Ultimate. <laughs> nice, okay, here comes the memories. I not really, but you know. Not now, not yet. Nice. 
Yeah, the last classic Monster Hunter was Generations. Or Generations Ultimate. Oh, you can. There you go. Oh, yeah, this was a thing. 90, 95% chance of success. Fails twice. Yeah, like, Yagru's yeah, army is something I want because, like, Yagru's yeah, only in this game. I mean, he's also in Generations Ultimate. Or, you know, Generations overall. But it's not the same. Like, like Yagru's yeah, without. Going for a swim is not the same guy. So tasty. I don't even know what they'll do. Maybe I will just do like I did many, many years ago. Just Kurupeko armor, that's it. Everything else is relevant. Shit. Wait in that, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, the game has begun. Which armor is Kawaii armor? That's the Rogi. The Great Rogi. Yeah, also thing in these old school Monster Hunter games. You have range armor and swordsman armor. You know, that's like... Uh, the new ones is just whatever. Armor is armor. That's all you need to know. In this one, na na na. Yeah, you can feel the old school, which I mean, it's, you know, that's gonna be the main topic every single day. Old school. I just gonna be painful with this a little bit of the delay. Like X. It's like a really really tiny second of delay, but it's fine. As I said, I'm not gonna make excuses. If I die, it's because I'm a bitch. Nothing else. So it's fine. You can actually kill these things in this game. No, kill! I, mean, I think it's only in the original 3 when you can kill them. What? Yeah, I think you only kill them in original 3. Or maybe in the previous ones too. But that was really weird because I think to get some items in the original 3, you need to stand it, Kelby. It's it just uh, an orange. Uh, an orange Jaggy. An orange great Jaggy, that's all, that's all it is. Oh shit! Poison was one, not two. Because the other carnivores are called Jaggy. Yeah, you kill and you get cool stuff. That's it. Welcome to Monster Hunter. I just one shot in them. Why not really? There you go. Yeah. Then the whole point in the new game is that everything is faster. That's, that's the whole point.
I'm pretty sure there has to be people out there. But they are mad because the game are is more simpler, more faster. You need to grind, you need to slow. I mean there are things I miss from the old games like But this some monster really feel different in the old in the old games. Especially when it comes to rise. Hey, that's good. Like in rise you feel like you feel stronger than the monster. You can take that however you want, but especially in these old games, you always feel like uh, you're in disadvantage. disadvantage. In Rise, though, it's like you have so many counters, you have so many cool stuff to use, which I guess that's the point of Rise, being a cool guy. I don't know, that's not is. I mean, I love Rise, but I really hope. Um, I really hope the new Monster Hunter game is not like Rise, it's more like World. I don't even know why I want to kill this thing. There you go. Nice. Nice. Oh yes, remembering the tutorial and not enjoying it. No survivors. I mean, it's just it's a tutorial. Not so for sure it's a tutorial, right? But dude, let me hand the great jaggy already. Bring me great jaggy already. That's what I'm asking for. And still ones. I'm guessing you unlock the missions now, so that means. Get mushroom, get flower, get this and that. Ooh. And our favorite kind of mission, deliver weaver eggs. Yeah, some cool stuff from this game. And the weirdest thing of them all is going to be no jump attacks. That was implemented in 4. And it's probably one of my favorite things in the entire franchise. One of my favorite things they implemented. Jump a duck. Nice. Okay, I guess I might as well read. It's not even that much text, but... I mean, it's just a tutorial kind of right now. Nice. Hey. Nice. I mean, I, I don't even know who will be playing this game online. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone that play this game online, like religiously, maybe they, all of them are in Generations Ultimate, most likely. Like that game truly is the ultimate of all school Monster Hunter. Because I think almost every monster is in there. It's like old school. You have these cool new moves. Thank you. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, stores, what? Yeah. Oh, this is not the one. There it is. Insane. 
No, no dancing anymore. There you go. Okay, so when is the monster hunting begin? I'm starting to worry if they, they close the server or something. What if the servers are down? And you can you cannot play this game online anymore? <laughs> I would be disappointed. <laughs> Can download the DLC. Oh, so that means there is a still a chance to fight the the Luna Nargacuga. For some reason I wanted to defeat that monster, I never could do it. Then again I was alone. That was around the time my friend got enough with the game. And he just told me, I'll see you in for ultimate. Mm. Yeah, sure. Understandable. Yeah, they are really cool late game monsters. Like, at least the... Um, I think it's called Abyssa Lagiagrus, which is basically... um. A huge black lagiacrus. And you're fighting where the um Seadeus. What is that? I'm telling you. They are you need to have a four a party of four players. School mining. God, this is bringing back memories. The cave and everything. Just being here with my friend, just grinding for one material. Let's see if we can get that. Oh shit, oh GG's. Did you drop something? GG. Yeah, I dropped. Velvety Hide. There's no button to make the map, the map bigger? Oh. Okay, that's what we do here. Yeah. This is the beginning. Awesome. I yeah, still no idea how long until how long until I beat the game. Because this can be really long. It can be even longer if monster kicks my ass. I was see. Let me just enjoy my silly game about hunting monsters, okay? okay. You think you're gonna go back? Ah, whatever. You must enjoy my silly game. A hundred hours. Hey. Like for me, that's the average play of most of any Monster Hunter game I play. 
Yeah, we need a poison smoke. <laughs> like a hundred hours? That's like the minimum I put into any Monster Hunter game. I think the only exception may, may be Generations on the, on the 3DS. Not Generations Ultimate. Generations Standard on the 3DS. And... Well, the second run I did of World. Then I, but then again, I beat World already with a shit ton of playtime. So whatever. Welcome to old school gathering. You press A a lot. <laughs> you know, even though I really like uh, these old school Monster Hunter games, there are some things I really enjoy of the new ones. I just how fast they are. <laughs> like in the new ones, like in, you know, I guess Rise is a better example. You get to place, you press A, that's it. It's fast, it's simple. I love it. In this one, you press A a lot. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it is what it is. I mean, that's how old Monster Hunter works. I still like it though. Not once. But you know, my second, the second ever game I streamed was, was one. Two streams only. I didn't enjoy the game. Like, listen, I love Monster Hunter. But damn, dude. Monster Hunter 1 is tough. Oh, nice, dude. She might get mad. Like, she might get mad for you stealing her phone. Yeah, it was for plus. Nice. Okay, don't get in any terrible, buddy. to find Chacha. I think you fight Great Jaggy for Chacha. Hey. I should have read something, but... Where to now? I, I just want to unlock the, the hunting. What a mysterious touch. That's for later. <laughs> I guess back to the forest, I guess. Oh, sorry. There you go. You see, they're telling you what to do. And I'm not reading that. I, I swear, I mean, the Monster Hunter Rise tutorial is just a pop up screen. It's a pop up screen saying, hey, this is what you do here. That's it. In this game, is the character telling you?
Look at your goose. He used to be the most thing over. Oh, yeah, you need harpoons to hunt the fishes. No, 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 no. This is to go the online lobby. The game is not even updated. I cannot get in here. I mean, I think it's the online lobby, right? Yeah, this is the online lobby. <laughs> Game is not even updated. Even if I want to play right now, I couldn't do it. Take me home. Oh, you can be here solo. You don't need to be on multiplayer all the time. Cool. And this multiplayer place was different in the original. It was a full, huge town. Which that was really cool. It was really, really nice. Maybe way too big for what the game was supposed to be, but it was cool. Yeah, the whole point is cool, okay? This game is cool. I mean, so cool that I enjoyed this game so much when it was out on the Wii. That I just... I just played every single one that came after this one. Or maybe not every single one, you know, but... You have played 3, 3 Ultimate. 4 Ultimate Generations. Not Generations Ultimate, though. Then World and Rise. I think I must have the name. Well, I didn't play Iceborne, but I played Sunbreak. I know how this works. Ulti bait. Blue mushroom. Shroom germ. All of them. Okay, can we hunt now? <laughs> yeah. One hour in, it's still no big monster hunt. That's how that's how three works. No. Point. Remember, it's monster hunter. There's, a, there's going to be a point where money is relevant. And you still need to wait for a little bit because you need to hunt monster. You need to hunt the monster. I mean, I think can be tough, but well, that's a big game. Okay, now the entire map is unlocked. Insect husk. Nice. I cannot wait to miss every single swing. I'll say maybe in old school games I like this. The great swarm more than sweet shots. I think it feels better for the game. Because the game is overall slower, it also includes the monster movement. I don't know, just go. Cool. Oh, Turamboros, nice. The monster that just spins. <laughs> Yo, only in this game. Swimming.
俺、うん、トレーナーとラウンド I really hope swimming comes back in the next monster hunter game As I said, I remember people hating this I remember people getting really mad because swimming sucks I never really mind that I think it was fine I'm fine enough, there are some monsters I maybe just one, like the place yet, I guess I mean, I think the... How many fish monsters were here before, like Yagrus and Gobul and all these things? I think it was just the place here, right? The only fish monster. So now in this game, he actually makes sense because he's a fish. Yeah, we need to. Uh, I think we need to hunt sharks. Now this is bringing memories. It's the swimming, swimming over here. Now all I need is the battle theme. <laughs> okay, time to hunt some fish. <gasps> fish. You cannot kill them without an harpoon. Imagine this is like a bug, and you need a bug net. <laughs> nice. L Life crystal, what? Oh yeah, you need to uh, um, stone, I guess. We need to fix inventory. We need to clean, clean it up. Big pin, or like turbine, I guess. I just want to play the game right now. I don't even want to grind today. I just want to play game, hunt monsters. If I grind for something, it may be the Krupeko armor. Krupeko is still my favorite monster. Well, armor is fear, no way. Funky pheromones. It's been a very long time. What is special about this game? You mean special about this Monster Hunter game specifically? Uh, swimming. <laughs> you can swim. Unless you mean what is special about Monster Hunter? I don't know, I guess fighting big monster with big weapon, I guess. It's addictive. For me it's addictive, it's really addictive and really fun. Yeah, can I, we need more here.
Yeah, you pick a um, stupid crab right now. Finally, harvest room. I monster hunters games are not for everyone, especially the old school ones. Absolutely. They're kind of slow. Does it didn't have stats? I mean, your armor have stats. Your weapon has the, the damage stat and the sharp stat. Like if you tell top left, not right now. If you see top left of my health, you have a sword on yellow. That's the sharpness of the blade. The better the sharpness, the more the damage. And also the, the weapon bounces less. And weapon and armors have um they have the defensive stats. And then you also have skills. And then again I forgot to clean up my inventory because I'm I'm used to rice. I'm used to rice. Unique muscles. So yeah, this game is Monster Hunt is not for everyone. I mean the newer ones they are because they are more simple, they are more streamlined, they are not something like this. Which it can be really, really slow. But the old school ones, yeah, they're slow. They can be tedious, they can be weird. I still love them. And I'm saying they are not for everyone because the entire point of the game is... The entire point of the game is hunt monster. Defeat monster. Fight new monster. That's it, that's the whole point of the game. Okay, I win. I guess this is the game where nobody in the chat like nobody in the chat likes it. <laughs> Don't worry boys. After Monster Hunter 3 it will be your games. Like Patapon 3 and Personita 2. It will be your games. Not mine. And I'm even willing to do the your games before Red Dead Redemption. Nice. Your Red Dead Redemption will be 21st August. Will be nice. So I'm willing just to play games you guys want to see before a Red Dead Redemption. Something stupid like that. I don't mind. I know this is more of a me game. This is more of a niche game. I mean, I'll see Monster Hunter is not of a niche game anymore. Like, the numbers of World and Rise really, really saw that. Monster Hunter is huge these days. Yes. There you go, you win. But yeah, I see when Monster Hunter 3 was out. This I see this is the rise of Monster Hunter, maybe as a popular franchise. I mean, this is the game that got me into Monster Hunter. Mostly because before this game, Monster Hunter was mostly a PSP franchise, and I never owned a PSP. Oh yeah, pretty soon releasing this from, from PSP to Wii was huge, especially because every single person in the universe owns a Wii for some reason. Oh, you have auto-saving. Well, auto-saving. I'll take it anyway. So I guess there is this game here on the Wii. People got game. People enjoyed game. No, no, don't the Whetstone. That's it, I guess it was the, the rise of Monster Hunter.
Crimson Lamp. Yes. Shit. Garbage obtained. You cannot, I think you cannot cut the tail of Duramboros. I think you can you can damage the thing, so it can... I think you can damage the thing, so it can... But it doesn't cut off, it's like one of those tails. Hey, kid. Mega fishing fly. so many times with 90% of success. <laughs> Can I hunt a great Jaggy? I mean, no, I can't standard Jaggies. Jaggy. Two can be horse. Three golden fish. Bye. Okay, Mario. Bring me Kurupeko. I want a Kurupeko already. Ow. I just take one of these. Just because. So now the game some somewhat has started, but not really. When does a Monster Hunter game really start? It's when you defeated the monster of the cover and you unlock the high rank. That's Jagia. Yeah, it's gonna be weird without the... The third charge slash from the new games. He just wants to go home. If you can use small monsters, I'll bring a small one. I you don't really need to, but I mean, you, I don't, you don't even need to do a charge attack. There you go, you see? One more. And we're fine. There you go. Yeah. When you're struggling with Gigi Nox, you can also... You know, you're start, you are struggling against any monster. I'd say you can just use a shield. Like, a, I mean, it's not your weapon of choice, but... It can be really helpful to just, in case of doubt, to just block. And that's it. Oh, this song, this song.
Por con tu mil digos. No hay. Ah, ah. Memories are coming. We need a specific version of this song. And this map. Yikes. Maybe playing this game was a mistake. Maybe streaming this game was a mistake. Funny. I don't know, just some memories. I said many times during so many games. There's a, a part of me, the only thing, one of the few, few things I really, really want is just play Monster Hunter with this friend again. <laughs> That's it. Last game we played, last Monster Hunter game we played together was World, of course. And we played a lot of that after he didn't bother with Rice. A part of me really, a part of me just wants that. Play Monster Hunter with friend again. I don't know if you have access to um to an armor or something that. Prevents poison. If you really want to get poison out of the way, you have a skills that prevent poison. But then again, I think you are still really early game, so your options will be like really limited. Okay, and now we need to yeah. gather stuff. Two Kelby horns. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, you know, life stuff and you grow up. And you need to do stuff with life. I don't the same anymore. But then you never know. <laughs> I mean, new Monster Hunter game is our game again. No, everything, everything I talk about Monster Hunter in the other streams is going to be here, but in Hardcore. I mean, if you say it was limping, it might be sleeping. Usually when they limp, it's nap time. Oh yeah, no. Donate. Only for the ranged weapons. Oh, never mind. Herb at maximum. Don't carry anymore. <laughs> yeah, actually, the inventory feels more limited in these old games. I mean, without. When a monster is near death. They just run away until they go to sleep. So if you're in area whatever, and they sleep in area Y, they're going to walk over there. Slowly. Kelby core, hey! Okay. 
There you go, I win. Yeah, the early game of Monster Hunter 3, it's... It's an early game. Maybe because I'm on the... Just... Game just throw you the most... Like, you start the game? Okay, boys, you... Gather mushroom once, and that's it. Hunt monster. Hunt the great Jaggy. It's fine. I'm a patient guy. Combining that. You know, I think about it now. This game has loading screens. That means we can go back to the good old days that you enter area, monster hits you, and then you go you go back to the previous area. And you have like a big loading screen fight. <laughs> oh, this game has changed. Times has changed. Health for what? Health for what? I think they were in kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. That was your biggest enemy in this old, old school Monster Hunter games. Getting hit into loading screen. That was a classic monster combo. How much more of this do you want from me? Eight coral stones. Sure. Sure. <laughs> oh, no. Old school hunting. I was, I think it was the Aptonoth, I don't remember the name, the Lava Monster. I forgot the name, I think it was Aptonoth or something like that. He died on the lava. And we couldn't carp it. Those were the days. Yeah, so talking about this, well, that was online, that was playing online. That's something that the new Monster Hunter games have lost, the lobbies. Well, I mean, not war specifically, but in my experience, almost everyone just plays with the quick join a lobby. Or whatever it's called. In the old ones, you create a lobby. And then you wait for people to come in, and then you play together. That was nice because I'll say this community is really, really kind. Oh, you actually. Oh, you the Sark, you actually need to use your weapon to kill the Sark. Or you, you don't, never mind. Yeah, I see the Monster Hunter community is really, really nice overall. I never had like issues with nobody. And I played a lot of Monster Hunter in my life.
the most toxicity I got was in 40 ultimate. I mean, it's, it wasn't even toxicity. Just to give you an idea. I died like... We were hiding the Grogmath, I think was his name. One of these... I think it was the final boss of 4 ultimate, I don't know. We did like 3 attempts. And you know, you can die 3 times per, per hunt. I died like a total of 7 times, just to give you an idea. So the guy just told me... Sorry dude, but I want to beat this. You need to get better, I'm sorry. So I understand that, he wasn't, he wasn't even me or anything, he just... Dude, I need to beat this and you are dead weight. That's what, that's what he told me, basically. And I completely understand that you want to win, I'm doing nothing for the team. You're kicking me out. Completely understandable. They remember talking with people in 3 and 4 ultimate a lot. And everyone was really kind. Oh yeah, the biggest piece of toxicity you can get when you have a guy with a sleep weapon? <laughs> the worst status element. Whatever is pronounced. The worst status only because your average hunter... He don't give a shit. He don't give a shit about, <laughs> about sleeping. He just hit non stop. I love sleep. I, I sleep is actually my favorite status element. But, as I said, your average player, he just don't give a shit. He just will keep on hitting. And I think this all games is... It was better. But the, I say these old games were harder. Just because how they are, like... Sharpening your weapon actually takes time. Healing takes time. And some monsters say they are tougher. Like a lot tougher. So having a break in the middle of the hunt. You know, with the monster sleeping. That was actually really good. That was great. You better hurry up, buddy. But you know, as I'm telling you, like, this is something normal in every single generation of Monster Hunter. You have a sleep weapon? People don't care. <laughs> I mean, there are people and people. I remember when people who had the... Pelo Hunters had the... A sleeping weapon. They have... Weapons with sleep. They had messages that just said stop attacking. The guy just spams stop attacking. <laughs> like you don't even need to bring bombs to make sleep useful. In my opinion at least. I mean it's also I mean it's better because you do a lot of damage when the monster is sleeping. And as you know, when the monster is sleeping. I think I won already. Yeah, I won. When the monster is sleeping, the first hit he gets to wake up does more damage. So you basically have the sleeping thing, a lot of barrels, and the great sword. Yep. Barrels plus charge great sword damage. Now that's deadly. Which, you know, you do cooperation because I really don't like great swords to inflict the status like paralysis and sleep. Not a big fan with great swords. I mean, you can do it. Any weapon can do it. But I don't know, I just. You give me a great sword, I will just want a big number. Big number of base damage with big number of like elemental damage. Like big fire damage or something like that. I don't want to sleep in my in my great sword. I want kill. I want the kill status element. That's the one I like. Kill. Nice.
to you. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. Like I'm the guy that says, play with whatever you want, with any ability you want. It's fine. This game, at the end of the day, is to hit the monster until it dies. I mean, if you hit a fire monster with a fire weapon, you're going to do less damage, of course, but... It's still, you're doing damage. Just hit the monster until it dies. Or, you know, you bring poison to a poisonous monster. Which I don't even know if you can... I guess you can. I think you can poison poisonous monster. It just... You need more time and stuff like that. Spider web, thank you. Nice. At the end of the day, hit monster, serpent weapon. Keep going, keep, keep on going with your life. That's how you play monster hunter. Oh, you reload your weapon if you are a range man. You have a bowgun player. I mean, Duran Boros also have a lot of health. He's, as far as I remember, he's kind of tanky. Oh, shit. Can I hand a great Jaggy now, please? <laughs> One great Jaggy, that's all I'm asking for. Nope, not yet. What? Nice. Okay, so I guess I'm keep doing all the boring stuff. Who is the AP of? Okay. I think Epioth is the swing monster. Yeah, he's the swing monster. Nice. See, my memory works. You see, my memory still works. That's nice. Okay, we we go back swimming. Guts, it's guts for dinner. Sure. Hi. Fishing harpoon. Wait, you need the harpoon to kill these things? I don't even know. Listen, just to give you an idea, the um, let's say let's not let's not say the bigger the monster. Let's say the um, the more stars the monster have, and the harder it is, and the stronger it is, it's more, it gives you more defense. But also remember, you have abilities, which you can be a cool guy and do a combination of abilities with different pieces of armor, or you just you just build its armor. Listen, dude, I'm a basic bitch. I just... The armor I use is the one I like. Not by abilities or by numbers, just... This armor looks cool. I will use this armor. Oh, it's there already. And you can just go to the blacksmith and check the... The defense and the abilities. Defense down. Don't forget the abilities. Abilities are really important. 
Which I'm guessing Duramboro gives you defensive stats maybe. I think it gives you health or something. Oh shit, it's the guy from the cover. Well, not anymore. Set bonuses. Yeah, you had a, I think if you have a, the set, you get more numbers, you get more defense. Oh no! Nice. That's the battle theme. I think he, he just killed me one hit. He did nothing. Well, I guess I need you to. How do you block with this thing? Nice. Ah! I think I'm stunned. Never mind. Can I get some guts, please? No. I don't care about dying. Throw me. Please don't! Oh shit. Please don't! <laughs> Whatever. Um, they drop what I need, right? What is what they need? Monster Gods. How do I get Monster Gods? Kill the water monster that look like Nessie. Yeah, but the game gives me harpoon. So the harpoon is just irrelevant. You just kill the thing and you carp. That's it. Yeah. So the harpoon is just a lie. You just hit the monster with your big sword. That's it. I haven't talked about this yet, but it's weird how this... How huge the Wii U controller is. It's, it's really comfortable, it's really weird. It's a weird controller because you think something like this with a skin on it and all this bullshit. It's really comfortable. <laughs> I really like this controller. I mean, I could be playing this with a Wii U... I, I mean, I really doubt this work. I really doubt the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller works with with the Wii U. You know, one can dream, right? Oh shit! Oh god! Three monster guts. Three. One. 
We're going to the best part of Monster Hunter when it comes to missions like this. RNG. You need monster gods. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, you just hold R1. Or, you know, just R. Because it's a Wii U controller. One monster guts, please. That's not monster guts. Thank you. You have no idea how painful it is when you need something and the game refuses to give it to you. So that's it, I win. Can I count a great Jaggy now? <laughs> Okay, now I want to check something in the village. I want to see how late I got into this game. Because I got the 3DS version. But when did I got a Wii U? I can assure you if I had a Wii U, I would have gotten this game. Absolutely. But I think this game is before Smash Brothers, so... Yeah. Yeah, I know. The good old Monster Hunter moment. You need this specific thing for a monster and he refuses to give it to you. Back in the three days on the Wii, uh, my friend wanted the Lagia Cruz armor. He could never com complete that thing. He never did, only because they Lagia Cruz refused to give him a sapphire. So he just got the cool, the cool skull helmet. Good days. Good days, dude. Yes, dude. There you go. Can I fight a great Jaggy, please? Is that too much to ask? There you go. The Yagros has been at 12. Yeah. Wait until they start to miss. Yeah, but listen, there's only one left. Please don't tell me I need to fish a golden fish. Tell me I don't need to. Oh, thank God. I hope so. Sure, like. I mean, he killed me once. Oh, we're going to school. Yeah, kill a Yagrus, that's the whole point of the game. Kill monster of the cover. Shroom box. There you go.
Finally. Mushroom farming. I'm disappointed that I didn't change the name of the cat. Uh, Volvidon is uh, paralysis, by the way. Volvidon, even though he looks red, he's not fire, he's paralysis. So you want to actually defend yourself against Volvidon? Uh, paralysis resist. Do you know how to. Do you know what really prevents paralysis? Don't get hit. I mean, you'll see the thing now. You'll see the guy. Let's see. Please, let me fight a great guy. <laughs> You change the talisman in the in your home. The same place where you change the weapon. Well now we can Ludro, not Royal Ludro. Ah, well it's whatever. Armor slot. Do you mean the oh I cannot show you anymore? I guess uh, by armor slots you mean the the talismans, maybe? Well not the talismans, the Shit, I don't know how it's cool in English. <laughs> Yeah, this is my first time playing a Monster Hunter game in English. Hi. But just remember, like Monster Hunter War, you have some... Let's call it accessories, decorations. I don't know if that's the right word. You know, these decoration things that... You know, more damage, it gives you skills abilities. I guess you mean that? Okay, I will check it out after this hunt. It's just six looter, so it should be fast. Adornos. But I guess you mean that. You mean the empty square uh, in the armor slots, right? Slots. Yeah, you mean that, right? The slots. Yeah, those are the accessories. The accessories, or whatever. Listen, I, I don't know how it's called in English. I'm sorry. I will. I guess I'll check it out. That's where you go. You get there, you know. Attack plus one. Attack plus one. You can eat mushroom now. Thunder race now. Thunder and paralysis are different things. Thunder can be helpful against. I don't know. You know where? Charm. Just get whatever you want, dude. Don't worry. I said you are still really early in the game. So you can get whatever you want. Like when you fight the actual hard monster, you will realize, okay, maybe I need to actually get cool stuff. I mean, it's helpful if you get the cool stuff earlier. But you get something that goes well with your playstyle. And in case of doubt, in my opinion, in case of doubt, you don't know what to equi equip. Just get more defense, almost a plus attack. Decoration. Decoration. That's why I say I don't know how long I will play this game. Like, I mean, if I if we are really going to play online, then I guess I will. At some point I will. But if I'm playing main story alone, 
Maybe I will. I just whatever happens, it happens. I don't mind. I'm confident in my skill. Now watch me die non-stop. Oh. Are you going to be the paralysis monster? There you go. High high. Status elements are always good. Like paralysis and paralysis is always good. Always. It doesn't matter the situation or whatever. Doing that to a monster is always helpful. I mean it's free damage. <laughs> and we love free damage. But be warned, monsters are grow um they grow resistance to to paralysis. Yeah, the thing with paralysis is good, but you cannot spam it non-stop. You are growing stronger. Yeah, the learning curve of Monster Hunter can be... Especially the old ones, can be maybe a little bit uphill. Like, remember to unlock the skill, to actually use the skill, you need to have it, you need the skill to be at least plus five, at least, if I remember correctly, in the old ones. So if you have like defense plus four, it doesn't matter. The game doesn't care. Nice. Ginox toy. Yeah. Maybe you can find a charm that is negative poison or something. Decoratio. Yeah, it's a decoration buddy. Poison. Yeah, you cannot even see what the ability is. That's bad. Poison. Yeah, so theory really like about the new ones. You can actually see what the skill is. Maestro. Lasting power. I don't know what these skills are. <laughs> Fake fun. Belt, monster bone medium. Ooh. Gathering, whim. This is how I build armors. I I look how cool they look. That's it. Expert. Wait, expert? What? Why do you need a lot of materials for this? What if I become a knight?
Okay, safe unlocked. I think. I know how this works, I play the game twice. Mega Pickaxe. Like, this is the only Monster Hunter game I play three times. I'm in the mood right now to treat something. God. Yes. How many days do we need to talk to you? Oh. Why is there so much so much text in this game? They are the same. The multiplayer is the same thing. It's what you are doing, but there are other players. That's it. <laughs> well, I think you have the G rank. I think the G rank is only in multiplayer, I think. Yeah, Monster Hunter has the low rank, the high rank, and then you have the G rank. This one has G rank. I think G rank is only on online. That's what they say. I don't know how much I will play this game. Maybe I'll beat Seadeus, the final boss, and that's it. As I said, I don't mind going back to this game like once per week. Just to play online. I guess with the only human being that has the game right now. <laughs> and you know, just slowly build our way. Until the Dire Miralis, and maybe try to beat him to hunt the Dire Miralis. New insect box. Okay. How do I mind? But yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I just want to play this game a little bit. Remember good old times. And then cry because of memories that will never repeat again. This can go get out. This can get out of here. Nice. Well, you know, I can assure you when I can't, there's a huge chance I get um, baby mode. It'd be fine. Let me just enjoy my silly Monster Hunter game. With Strugno, the new warrior. With Sandy Plains. With the great Jaggy! Great Jaggy, fine. And a great Jaggy, nice. Also, feature now removed from the universe. Cold drinks and hot drinks. Remember those? Those are gone. <laughs> like, 
Those are gone forever. Which, you know, that's, that was a difficulty spike, but it was also annoying. Like, you need to... From time to time, just, just drink the thing. I don't even know the duration of the drink. Or the cold drink. Blast bomb. Destroy Genox. Do it. Genox must be vanquished. There he is! The first big fella. Hit him. <laughs> yeah, we need to get the... The bow guns. And go full hatred. For some reason, I thought that the first great Jaggy fight is in the Moga Forest. Okay, time to uh, charge attack. Watch me die to a great juggy. Yeah, good old school killing. There you go. Thanks, really had changed. I actually don't like great sword against small creatures, small monsters. Ah, whatever. I might die. I'm playing with fire. I should have brought the sweet chucks. I like it more versus a uh, great jaggy and small monsters overall. It's fine. Now we fl now we flush. I know I missed the charge attack. Welcome to the daily life of a great sword. And there you go. 
Vanquish. Yeah, that's the mayor of the Great Sword. People say the Great Sword is really, really good in Rise. I really don't like it in Rise. I mean, it's cool. I love the Great Sword. I love charge attacks. I love charge attacks, but for some reason in Rise, just by the nature of the game and how fast paced it is and how everything is about non stop chaos. They're attacking non stop with everything. Standing still just to charge this sword is. I don't like it very much. I still, I mean, I still like it, but it's not the same. Ah, oh, yes. Scorching heat. I just remember the existence of the, of the Niffelgarf, or whatever his name was. The Niffelgarf. The Hufflepuff. There you go. Great Jaggy Banquist. The first of many. I hope so. <laughs> I will be fine. We'll be fine. Damn. Land of extremes. <gasps> Land of Kiwamis? No way. No, please, so send me ya now the, the... The bear, I forgot the name. <laughs> what was the name of the blue bear? Arthuros. Bring me Arthuros, bring me... Um, Royal Ludro, give me those things. I don't want to get... I don't even know. I, I don't want to hunt more... I don't want to harvest mushrooms, okay? That's the whole point. <laughs> I don't want to harvest mushrooms. Arsuros, yeah. Now we can't appear. Fair trap. Capture. Oh, what? Oh, it's capture. Oh. Listen, uh, I, I love these old school Monster Hunter games, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Capture, capture missions in this old school monster hunter they are awful they are terrible now why is that well it's just it's not just the game not telling you when you can capture a monster i mean you can have an idea when you can actually hunt a monster capture a monster the problem is you put a trap down you're screwed now. There's nothing you can do. All you can do now is wait until it explodes or just restart. Okay, now here's the problem. I have great sword. I can do a lot of damage to Arsuros and... I hope not to kill. Oh, they give you two traps. Oh, they are really kind. So you have like the... You can fail once. That's fine. You can fail once and that's it. I swear in the standard three, they give you once. One, one trap. And that's it. I hope to not kill with my massive amount of damage. The bear is just enjoying some honey. 
And what am I about to do? Kill. Well, capture. Capture. We'll be fine, I guess. That's a command grab. Can I steal your honey? Oh shit. This hitbox. I already have like a sweet axe for monsters like this. Man, you can delete them when you do a full charge attack. Yikes, bouncing on the heart. It's fine. And for the most part, I'll be using Gage Swords and Switch Axes. Oh, now it's Priest! Yeah, my god. I didn't kill. Wait, well, they just. I think he's dying already. Wait, really? I Man, I think that's the um... dying animation, right? The limping away from the Arsuros and the Arsuro model. I may have a sock trap so I can just check it. The mushroom. I mean, I think that's the limping animation from their suros. Yeah, but this is for you. There you go. Pick up something. Beast tier. Nice. So yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> we ended spear run mode. <laughs> we can everything with big sword. And I guess I'll find something. What if I just beat the entire game with a great sword? That's what they did in generations. What if I beat the entire game with a great sword? Here comes Barrio. <laughs> yes, I would like to say. Oh, now there are Suros over here. Oh no, Chacha and Log.
official quest. Okay, Chacha Unlock. In this game, you don't have cats. You have um, Shakalakas. Awesome. Shakalaka Savior. Okay, time to unlock friend. And he will make the game easier. Because he can be bait now. I think in the first Monster Hunter game, you don't have friends. Just you and the monster, that's it. You don't have Paligos, you don't have Chacha, you have no. Which that game's the main... I mean, I didn't even know how hard the game is. I thought... Uh, the only big monster I fought, I think, was the... Shit, I forgot the name. The Blue Grey Juggy. And you just hit it with your sword and seal, and he bounced back. So it was a really weird fight. That's our new best friend. Chocolate girl. Now we kill in the name of Chocolate girl. May I? We try to kill in the name of Chocolate girl. I'm very good at... I'm very good at Great Sword. <laughs> We're done, right? Gone. Great circle like a warrior. More like great bitches, motherfucker. No, I like Chacha. Funny thing, I mean, I don't know how far it is until I get Kayamba, but Kayamba is not in the original. Back in the arena, it was you and Chacha. That's it. I like Chacha. This is fine. He makes funny noises. I mean, he's not cat, of course. I mean, we like cat noises. We even like the dogs are also really cool. I mean, just a big dog that you ride like a horse.
We're done? We, we're not done. Mucha zancalaca. Friend acquired. Nice. Violence is the sign of our friendship. Friendship achieved. With funny goblin man. Nice dude. You did it. Awesome. Yep. Paralysis is really good. I mean, you, you have free hits. <laughs> If you're struggling, you can just get better equipment and that's it. <laughs> Powerful Sakalaka warrior has arrived. This monster. At your side. Finally, friendship. I swear I didn't remember this much this much text in this game. <laughs> It's just a matter of time, we start hunting non-stop. That's all we need. Why there's so much stacks in this game? <laughs> Fake punk, he's not reading the dialogue of the Monster Hunter video game. You're right, I'm not. But for the most part, they're selling like nonsense. Just read what the guild girl has to say, and that's it. And the, the chief. But for the most part is... I got new thing. Awesome. New thing happened. Monster has been unlocked in the exploration. Awesome. Group A got favorite monster. Hunt and Arsuros. Capture. Favorite monster. 
of the entire franchise. And Cowboy Armor has his droid there. Maybe I'll get the Kurupeko Armor only because... <laughs> I played this game three... Uh, this is the third time I'm playing Monster Hunter 3. You know, like, three standard, three ultimate, and now... Now, right now. Those three times... Kurupeko Armor. No, 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 no. You have low rank, high rank, and G rank. You need to unlock them in online. I think... I think you can unlock in ultimate, you can unlock high rank offline. No, you don't need to do all that. You just do missions. Listen, you just play online, and eventually the game says... Urgent quest. Urgent quest. You do it. And that's it. You unlock the new star for monsters. And it's like that all the time. Until you reach a limit and the game is like, you defeat this monster. Okay, now you have high rank monsters. And it's the same thing. Oh, it's gonna be tough for the Kurupego thing. It's the same thing, but monsters have more health. They hit harder. But they gave you different equipment. This is what they say that Monster Hunter is not for everyone. Like, the game is very repetitive. It's the same thing over and over and over again. I love it. I absolutely love Monster Hunter as I said many, many times. Like, right in this stream of Monster Hunter and the other streams. Where Kurupeko? Fake fan. Favorite monster and he doesn't even remember where he spawned. She got me. I said, yeah. For the most part, you just get cool stuff and go forward. That's it. That, that's how I play, I really don't care, I just get an, an armor I like, a weapon I like, I mean, we, we, weapon, just... Armor, yes, I get the one I like and I upgrade it non-stop. Weapon? Yeah, I just get the cool one. You get this weapon and then you upgrade this weapon and so on, so until you just like... Okay, I want another weapon. Like a fire one. Or, you know, a, a fire damage one, an electric damage one. And you can be swapping because, you know, monsters have um, weaknesses to all elements. There he is! My favorite guy. Only in three. I don't even remember if he's in generations. I think he is. I mean, everyone is in generations. I think he's in generation. Uh, I think he went backwards. I think Kurupeko doesn't go to the vessel. There he is. Favorite guy. I love him. That looks so good. Yeah, maybe this is the, the few monsters that will actually farm really hard. Just to get the full armor. Oh, 
at least of the earliest ones. But right now, I don't, I don't want to farm anything. I just want to, you know, keep on moving forward. You know, maybe before closing the stream, I can just hunt a few uh, out of Kurupekos. That's it. I really don't care, but they wanted the armor. Oh shit! Thank you. I know, like all school monster hunter, monsters fight you. They don't fight each other. Classic monster hunter. Wait. Kurubeko may be the exception. Just give me the cry of the monster. But then you have the Renoplos too. The true monster hunter to experience. The Renoplos. Well, it could be worse. It could be a, it could be a Wolfango. Be a whole fungo. Where'd you go, buddy? Barot area? Maybe? That animation that has been here since... That animation has been with us since... I think for Ultimate. Generations Ultimate, the last classic Monster Hunter game. But as I said many times, any Monster Hunter game is the same. Oh shit. Let's get Ah, it's not wonky, it's classic. Okay, it's classic. Yo! You know what? Oh, they didn't give me a... Um, poop bomb. They're killing cha, -cha. We should be thinking of upgrading weapons. We need better weapon. We need the standard one. I'll get something eventually. I'm not gonna go insane about farming everything. No, you need to grind, you need to farm everything or else you fucking die. Watch me die to a Kurupeko. Kurupeko and Great Jaggi. Yow. I'm fine. This is what they say that I like sweet jacks for the small wood monsters. That'd be fun of the Great Sword. Against the small monsters. 
especially when I need to uh, stop and Wait, he touched him. Thank you. Look at this beast! Let's check with the classic Padabon noise. Oh no, you don't. Your biggest enemy, Monster Hunter. Loading screens. Classic. Yeah, what I say always when you see things like that? Never underestimate the. God damn it. <laughs> okay, I cannot get that thing. Never underestimate the power of a no life nerd. Listen, I'm gonna be. I'm just speedrunning the game. So we can get Padabon 3 here <laughs> Nah, I mean... I'm not going to be farming now. Uh, unless I really need to, I'm, I'm getting my ass handed to me. As I said, Kaka, I mean, we talk about this. Feel free to say anything. I'm willing to dedicate one day per week to online missions. I mean, the choice is yours, because you're the only guy that has a with the game. <laughs> if you don't want to, it's fine. If you want to, also, I'm willing to do, even when Monster Hunter is over, one day per week, just to hand online. It's... Oh, nice. Get it Friday or just Saturday, if we can, whatever. It's completely fine. As I said, I really don't mind keep coming back each week until we kill, we kill the Dive Miralis. Because that's the final boss of the online. Also my extra. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, we're talking about the online experience. <laughs> sorry about that. I was saying that the main objective to beat the game, for me, if I beat the final boss, you know, Sadius or Kaedius, I don't even know how it's pronounced. I would call it Sadius. Um, I really don't mind keep on playing the game online with you. Oh, you know, whoever comes here, like, for some reason, someone gets in here and he's like, Hey, I have the game. Can you play online? Like, sure, no problem, dude. Because, you know, there are unique monsters in the... Um, in the online. The true hard one, like, you know, Luna Narcacuga. I think Gold Rathia and Silver Rothalos. So, as I'm saying, I do really don't mind, like, when Monster Hunter is over, because I don't know how long this game will be. Depending on how, how hard the disease hits, you know, the hours per day. I really don't mind just every Friday or every Saturday, just do it here, we play online, and that's it. I mean, if we play online, I will put part whatever uh, lobby. I mean, I really don't need to attract no one. Like, to attract a player, first, YouTube need to recommend the stream. And second of all, someone will... You need to get in the mood to set up your wheel. Just to play Monster Hunter 3. 
I really doubt. I mean, I guess if you really want to get new players to play here, you just need to... Monster Hunter Discord or something, or Reddit or whatever. Monster Hunter Forum. Nice. I mean, I will put in the title, will play online or not. But I really, really doubt. Someone will come here. I mean, you never know. As I said, you don't know. Maybe someone's like, yeah, dude, let me set up my Wii U real quick. I'll join the lobby. But then again, just... I really doubt that. I can assure you some monsters are gonna be... I... Some hats are gonna be really, really tough with two players. Not impossible, though. But, you know, we can... We'll figure something out. Ay! Thank you. Yeah, right, right now I have planned to, at least until Thursday, just play offline. Just, you know, play this main story, unlock stuff. If you want to some online on Friday, we'll just do it. No problem. Which, again, online is just this, but most of it is hit harder. I love Monster Hunter, I'll do anything for Monster Hunter. I'll take any Monster Hunter I can take. But I know that pretty soon for the people that comes here usually, they really don't care that much. I understand that. Maybe you like to play Monster Hunter, but you don't like to watch Monster Hunter. And it's completely understandable. Oh, it's dying. Oh, shit, I didn't mark it, but I think I know where it goes. That's what I'm saying. Maybe when Monster Hunter is done. Maybe you guys are free to... I mean, the two games that are coming after Monster Hunter are... Patapon 3 and Persona 2. Those are, like, games you guys have requested. <laughs> and the bonus are everything heavy, most likely. So I've been thinking, maybe if we have time before Red Dead Redemption, that's like 20 per of August, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not, I don't mind playing games you guys want to see. Or whatever, or maybe just keep good with my thing. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. But I'm pretty sure to beat the game, you don't need to hunt every monster. You just need to advance in the, in the hunting ranks. And then you, you reach the moment the game is like, okay, you can hunt final monster. Oh yeah. I also have plans of streaming in... As I always say, if I'm, if I'm still here on December to stream a Monster Hunter War Iceborne. The DLC, who's in play that one? Oh, yeah, that, we shall see. I mean, that may be more attractive because I said Monster Hunter War for everyone is more attractive. Maybe cooler to see, cooler to watch, and even easier to join.
Already, watch me die. Get him, Tata. Oh, yeah, I need to shut up. <laughs> Yikes, dude. Get me out. There you go. What a waste of mega potion. It's fine. Nice. Yeah, before my my brain became mush, I stopped talking. Huh? I was talking about Monster Hunter World because Monster Hunter World. You don't need to set up the Wii U to play. I will play the Steam version. That's the one I have. So that would be easy to join. Then again, I just whatever. Dude. I said many times I'll do my thing, and that's it. If someone wants to join, awesome. Yes, for it's fine. Yeah, it's a same. There's no crossplay. It's funny because you will think that in the PS4 era, everything could have crossplay. Everything. But no, not, not everything. Not even fighting games, like... I want crossplay on everything. The ultimate, yes. I mean, this one's fine. You can swim. Me neither. Me neither, because I got the 3DS version. And I got the 3DS version in a really, really cool way. Actually. I think I talked about this already. Basically, there was a promotion that if you buy Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the 3DS, and you put the code with this, these things that come with the box of the game, you put that on Nintendo, you get a free download code of free Ultimate. So, so Frengo got a 3DS with 3D Ultimate and I put half the price of 3D Ultimate on the 3DS. And I just got the download code. That's how I got 3D, 3D Ultimate on the, on the 3DS. It's the same that, as I said many times, you cannot play online on the 3DS. That was the biggest flaw. But they still with just wonderful memories of just playing Fire Emblem Awakening and Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on a somewhat yeah in a somewhat brand new Nintendo 3DS. It was really really cool memories, and it was summer. And I just remember my friend from time to time coming going to to his house and just play the game. And then we have like different armor, different weapons. Had the monster to hand, it was it was so fun dude. It was really really fun. You know what's fun? Could one more. I don't have the helmet though. Where's the Kurupeko bullshit? Hey Awesome. White range. Meister. Yeah, this this uh, this summer is bad. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's it seems good for multiplayer, but I'll say for single player is not that great. I will create something. Listen, you know, just for the sake of variety, I will get something else. But right now, I'm kind of fine. I get, yeah. I mean, as I said many times, I only have like 
five friends and that's it. I have four friends and that's it. And I made them when I was a kid. And only one of them likes Monster Hunter. I mean, the only friend I play Monster Hunter, three, three Ultimate, four Ultimate, and World. Let's go for the world. Just to tell you how much I just in my brain Monster Hunter with friend. I played Monster Hunter Monster Hunter uh, after playing three three ultimate and four ultimate with this friend. I played Generations on the 3DS on my own. And it was a really really good experience because through the entire playthrough I had some kind of sadness inside me because this friend will never get into the game with me. Not because he didn't own a 3DS, then again, he got a 3DS to play <laughs> Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate with me, nonetheless. He just never got the game because he was really busy with life. So he never got the chance to get the game. So through the entire playthrough of Generations, I feel like... I don't know, some kind of sadness, like he will never be here with me, so... Uh, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. A weird feeling. I said before, that's why... Oh yeah, we are growing, we need antidotes. I said before, the, my at least every Monster Hunter game I play, I put a hundred hours in it. Like, I think the only exception is when I do a second run of World, I beat the game and that's it. But then, as I said, I also played a lot of... A lot of war with this friend, with my real character, not the secondary one. I think when I played Generations, I beat the game. And when I beat the game, I said, okay, let's check online. I played like... I think I didn't even go to the second stars or something. I remember there was like mutations or something. There was like a black lagombi. I hand that thing and that's it. All of this because of this feeling. Oh, my friend not coming back here. He just felt like. Uh... Yeah, there are also similar case for me. A game that pretty much I just I never played on my own. I, only, I always play with friend. Yeah, with, with this with Monster Hunter friend on the less. So I'm pretty sure I will I will have a lot of fun with Terraria, but it's not going to be the same. I love Terraria, by the way. I really, really like Terraria. But, you know, it just... I mean, uh, after the... Let's say after the... Um, Generations incident, let's hold it some way. I, me and my friend got Monster Hunter World. And let me tell you, that was fun. We played that. For what we were doing with our lives at that point, we played way too much World in one single month. And we love it. Every second of it. Yeah, I do have the friends here. Memories always stay, right? I think he's in nine. But you know, just sometimes I wish to just go back and play with friends. Even if it's just for one day. I don't even care which Monster Hunter game. Well, I guess at this point it will be War or that serious. I think he sold his 3DS. <laughs> and he, don't has, he doesn't have a Switch to play Rise with me. Which, by the way, I had, it happened the same with Rise, actually. Like, playing Rise was fun, but the idea that I'm missing something. Or more like, I'm missing someone. I mean, the main difference is that Rice is fun. Rice is really fun. The only thing is that... It's not the funny one for Monster Hunter. It's just... 
it's a different kind of fun. For a spin-off game, it's fun. I really hope most the next Monster Hunter game is nothing like that. Oh, but nothing like that, I mean... Insane movement, all that crap. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, the dream of having a party of my, my four friends. Having a party of four friends just playing Monster Hunter will never happen. No, don't worry about that, dude. Just buy, buy games for yourself. Don't worry about me. Then again, I don't even know how much Monster Hunter rights I have in me. I need to go back and hunt Amatsu and the new uh, things, but... Don't buy games thinking about me, dude. Yes. If you really want to play Rise, you do it, but don't you even think about me. Just have fun on your own. I mean, I think it's really cool that you want to play games with me, but... My point is, don't worry about me. Have fun on your own. I mean, we can have a bonus multiplayer do it. Because even if... They, uh, if I get to a Maxu, that's like one of the last, last, last monsters you find in the game. So you need to like beat the entire game and beat the entire DLC. Plus bonuses. Full poison. I mean, they release... Ultimate on PS4 in too long ago, right? Not ultimate, that rice. I'm dying. I barely have anti- I made a mistake, I barely have antidotes. Oh, I might die here because of lack of antidotes. I made a huge mistake. This early on PS4 and PS5, I guess. I really like it. As I said, it's really cool that the next Monster Hunter game is not that much like that. It's more like something like this. Like, it's more like war, okay? Not like this, more like war, more than rice. But it's really, really fun. Ringeable game. There you go. Doing the damage over here. Shit. But you know, it's always now friendship. I mean, I will never get a party of four friends because out of my friends. I have friends that like Monster Hunter, of course, the Monster Hunter friend. Friends that don't like Monster Hunter because it's way- oh shit. Because it's way too grindy. And Monster Hunter that just simply doesn't like Monster Hunter, that's it. He just- it's not his kind of game. And I have other friends that- I think he doesn't even know what Monster Hunter really is. Oh shit. So yeah, when it comes to friends, friends playing Monster Hunter, I just have one, really. That's why... I said this many times, like, back when Ride was brand new, and every single person was... There were so many videos of playing, playing Monster Hunter Ride with my with party of four. Friendship. With four people I know, friendship. I'm not going to lie. I feel like a bit of envy. I'm not a person that feels envy for many things. Like, I really don't care. Like, you do, you, you do. And whatever you're doing, happy, you do it. I really don't care. Why don't do the idea of playing Monster Hunter with four friends? Or well, three friends, I guess. It's a three, four player game. It's something I always wanted to do, and I will never do it because. I will never get new friends at this point that. I, I did play any three more friends because the, this guy I'm talking to, he's way too busy with life. I mean, you never know when the new Monster Hunter game arrives, but. You know. Oh. 
I mean, it's fine. It was the same with Left 4 Dead 2, by the way. Left 4 Dead 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. I adore Left 4 Dead 2. The amounts of time I played that game with a party of four, you know, me and three more friends, minus school. Campaigns with beat in four player mode? I think a few, just a bunch, like not even five, I think. Maybe a few ones of the official ones, and that's it. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It just... There will always be people. It doesn't matter your age. There will always be people around you. That like the same things that you do. I think I'm getting poisoned. Do games really keep you sane? I mean, it depend, the, for me, it depends on how you ask. Games will keep me sane. Ask me that when I was grinding the blacksmith in Eastern. <laughs> ask me that when I was grinding the blacksmith in Eastern. He's not poison. But yeah, it's fine, it's an entertainment. It removes the boredom. I'm thinking about life. Yeah, that's the thing. Distraction. Yeah, this extreme has become so big for me that it just keeps me started of everything. <laughs> With games like Judgment and stuff like that. <laughs> I stay until 1 a.m. like wake up, work, judge, sleep. <laughs> I am distracted of everything. By time, it's my choice at the other day. As many times, it's in my choices. Oh, he's limping already. I mean, you can get, you can lose yourself in shit like this, especially with a game like Monster Hunter. But this game can be a grind phase. Your mind can really get distracted of everything. Go here, hunt monster. Monster has been vanquished. Hunt next monster. Yes. Okay, whatever. But, you know, um, video games can help you to just forget about nasty things in life. But that should be a true purpose. That's why I hate toxicity in video games. Like, we play this shit to have a good time. Or, you know, a, a good time, like something like Omori, a different, a different kind of good time. But on the other side, entertain yourself, so why do you need to hate everything? What's the point of hating every, each other and hate everyone? When we are here just to have fun. Have a good time, just enjoy yourself for a, for a brief moment. Is the way I see... Oh yes, I'm a me thing. The idea of everyone who wants to be number one in whatever he plays. 
whatever that person is playing, or he or she, you know. Maybe just me talking with my ass, but the idea of being number one has been more prominent in the last few years. It doesn't matter what it is, or the stream, or just a stream, or just on your own, or whatever. It's like competitive video games have taken over everything. That I get maybe talking with my ass, but I remember. Nice. Like, we don't care about winning or losing, we just want to have a good time. I mean, yeah, you can see. Winning is fun. I think so many people say winning is fun. You know, I'd rather lose and have a good time than win as and stomp. And that was a problem I had with League of Legends for a really, really long time. I had games that I lose, but no, no one played. Or games that I win, and no one played. I don't give a shit, I just want to have a good time. Have fun. Shit. Fuck around and have a laugh, that's the spirit, dude. At least for me. Sometimes people get way too obsessed with what is the best. Oh, thanks, Sacha. What's the best? What's the worst? Why are you using this if it's bad? Like, just do what you want, dude. I mean, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying that that is absolutely not a bad thing. People actually enjoy the, comp the, not the competitive nature of everything. But yeah, I just, I'd rather just fuck around with whatever the game has to offer. It's like people role playing. That's something I don't understand either. I mean, I understand role playing in messenger game, create your character that looks like you. I don't, I just want to be a fucking clown. But then that's just me. Like, do you think I'm going to role play in Skyrim? Like, no, this is my character, I do this thing. Like, Dude, I just want the, the karate to fucking fly away. <laughs> but there is some shit talking. I'm here to have fun. I don't care about who is the best, who is the worst. And I'm pretty sure the competitive nature even got a little bit into the casual nature of playing video games. I really hope I've been talking with my ass. I really hope I'm talking with spreading lies on the internet, I really hope so, but sometimes that's how I feel. Everybody wants to be the best, everybody wants to be the number one, everybody wants to be like the dude. I don't give a shit. But oh well, that's the life. That's the life. Wants to be every, everybody wants to be the ultimate. As I'm telling you, it's fine. It just... I don't know. I feel back in the day it wasn't as prominent. I really hope to be talking with my ass. Can I grape something? Hey, do you wanna see a cool helmet? Never mind, I cannot make the the groggy. There you go. <laughs> Team player, excuse the the abilities of the Sakalaka. Sharpness. Hey. So, you can use this and have a lot of poison. I mean, you're gonna get a lot of stun. That's the problem. Do I really want to be a cowboy? Listen, I beat the entirety of rice. Almost the entirety of rice being a cowboy. I would like to have something different. Master Sword. Yeah, sure. 
Look at the Buster Sword, dude. Oh my god, I'm Cloud. Golem Blade. Drag Great Sword. I want. Giri. I want Grit Sharpness already. I'll keep going like this for a while. Cool. I need potions. Stuff like that. And you have a good walk, dude. Enjoy the walk. hunting time. And Royal Ludro. Sure, why not? Oh, wait, never mind. I want to have some pulls on me. I need to do a thing before hunting the Royal Ludrot, so... BRB, I guess. Let me clear this thing and then BRB. Nice. There you go. I mean, if you don't play multiplayer, you will have to grind multiplayer too. So don't worry about that. I mean, as I said, I'm willing to play the, if you really want to. This fight is a multiplayer, just to see how far we can get. But what we are doing right now, we need to do it again. But Monster will have more health and do more damage. <laughs> Well, if you want to, sure, I mean, I don't know if I will fart for something. I want to fart for something that is either the Grogi or the Kurupeko, even though, as I said, I want to make them because that's what I use in the, you know, Grogi armor is in Rise and Kurupeko armor in every single time I play 3 Ultimate or 3 in Standard. Maybe I will create something different. What if I make a GG Nox armor? <laughs> I I'll look for something, it's fine. But as I said, I need to do something real quick. I'm gonna do a quick BRB and then back. <laughs> back. It's it's a it's a second, okay? Whatever. Um I'll be right back, okay? Enjoy the the old BRB.
Awesome. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> okay, what the more of this? Um, let's see how far I can go. I don't know if I will do funny hours or just give up for today. I mean, still have at least one hour in front of me, of course. Oh yeah, Royal Rulodrop, and you can fight underwater now. So it's three. Ooh. Another monster that was created for three with the plan of you know with having the water thing in mind. Royal Ludo without water feels weird. I mean I guess I get used to it already. But I don't know, it's just let the, let the man bath, okay? Let the man bath. That's what I got to say. Pitch him! Okay, here we go. Yeah, what a play. What a play, boys. Thank you. I really need getting shot. Getting shot, miss. Ow! Wait, you block without one. So I, I still have rice in my, in my brain. I'm sorry. And I'm pretty sure I will have Bryce even more the more he played the game. <laughs> but maybe not. Or oh, I guess it's the opposite. The more I play this, the less of Bryce will be here. Oh shit. It's fine. Yeah. I think I kicked him. I don't know if it was the standard Ludro. Damage rolling backward, rolling behind you. Right now is the thing I miss the most. Yeah, 
Okay, let's, let's not fight near the loading screen. We don't need that. Nice hit! <laughs> We're getting tired though. Oh shit! We're supposed to be tired. Can you do a Yurtai animation? <laughs> I guess it, I think it's not. I think he's not tired. I think he's peace. Good trading. We are trading heat right now. Oh, I just... I just remember. I need to eat. I forgot to have lunch. Oh, hello, dude. What's up, dude? Yes. So don't even don't even bother to say hi, just focus on your birthday. Or on the birthday you are into. Don't even worry about the stream. I mean that's for doing that, but good. I find the birthday. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's. I said so many times, it's really cool. Thanks for coming and say hi, but dude, just. Don't worry about this, dude. Just. Post on the bed and have a good time. Focus on having a good time. No, I'm not. They said you know how my voice goes from time to time. I'm pissed. As I say, it's. I mean, thanks for coming and saying hi, as I say, but. Don't you worry, dude. I found the bad day. How a wonderful cake. <laughs> oh, listen, if I sound mad, I'm sorry. You're ready to get nice. Okay, dude. That's for saying hi. Have a good time at the party. Now we'll do another one. Now we must have Hunter 3.
ओके फेस एक्चुअल फाइट अंदर हुआ था Yikes. I always like this because the water monsters are stronger when he's underwater. Full half thought, huh? That, for me, that's part of the magic of this game. Please don't kill me. Yikes. I mean, I really hope that underwater fights come back in next Monster, Monster Hunter game. I don't know if they'll do it because I said many times, as far as I remember, everybody, everyone hated to fight underwater. I don't know if it was because the actual fighting or the controls. Please remember, this or. This game was out for the week. This is a week game. It wasn't that bad. And for a game that the new mechanic is water, I think there's not even that... In the real 3, there's not even that many monsters that fight underwater. I mean, Royal Ludro, like Yakus, of course. Gobu. And who else? I see Adeus, I guess. Only for monsters? new gimmick and with ultimate we have place yours we have place yours dire miralis and i think that's it right Maybe it's a few a monster in, I mean Abyssal like Yakus I guess, but that's still like Yakus. But bigger, stronger, and faster too. When I think about it, the, the intro is the underwater fighting, but there's not that many underwater monsters to fight. Never thought about that. I like underwater fighting. I've been saying that like once per hour at least. <laughs> I 
I mean, I guess what people say like is he doesn't feel as good, maybe. But for me, that was the whole point that you are not in your element, you are in the monster's element. And as I said, these monsters are weaker when they are on land, not on sea. That's also really cool. Can I hit him? Please. Please hit. In my ass. Never mind, boys. I hate underwater fighting. I'm losing. Shit. You know what? A screw water fighting. Sea fighting. We go now for a sky fighting. We fight me there. We fly away. You're on my territory, bitch. Thank you. I can't even hit him. What's happening? Either water or on land. Mira cómo happen. Dude, he's playing with me at this point. He is the main character now. There you go. Not anymore. Back to Stunner Monster. He is walking around this point. He's, he's not even attacking, he's just walking. We fight. He's attacking no one right now. 
He's going mid. He's going insane. There's an enemy that only he can see. you do it I feel like this this took longer than it should <laughs> I mean if, of course it takes longer if you miss every single hit of course but hey done great sword keeps on winning <laughs> Let's see if we can get some minerals before leaving. Yeah! Exactly the same as rice, boys. It feels exactly the same as rice. <laughs> Okay, we need to sleep damage now. Who can I sleep? Monster, yeah. Hey. I at some point I need to upgrade the farm or something. I want points. Who's next? Barroth. I like Barroth. Barroth is fine. Jumbo bread. I just forgot to clean to clean my pockets. Awesome. I will be fine. I mean, Baroth can be really tough if he, when he gets mad, he never stops ramming. It's not that bad. There are wars. Like a Diablos.
Me quedan sea diablos y esa del ver si no para parar, ¿no? It's him. No way. It's Barroth. Oh my god. Oh no, yeah, with the... I think you at least the green sharpness to hit his head. Okay. Wait, hit head without bouncing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, today is the day of posing. Mother, who cares? Who even cares? Ah, shit. Thank you. Rare footage of a Vanabra being helpful. You don't see that every day. Yeah. The annoying, the annoying monsters need fight helping you. Thank you, Chacha. Yeah, we need um no yellow sharpness. We need green sharpness already. If I remember correctly, you do a lot of damage to him with, I think it was ice or water because you remove the mud really quickly. Yikes. 
Yo. Okay, they should have done. It's fine. Okay, bro, they don't do a full charge every time. It feels so surreal to be bouncing from a barro. From barro's mud. Nonetheless. Yeah, this is like the standard. A standard sharpness of the weapon. It feels terrible. Thank you. Nice, dude. Nice. Work is working is nice. That's the whole point. Ow. Working is nice. Oh shit, my bad. My bad again. You know what they always say, dude? Never underestimate. <laughs> yeah, maybe this game won't be here that long. But I'm telling you, I already said what I think about this and the online. I don't mind coming back to this game like once a week or something, even when the base game is done. Just to play online. I really don't mind. Nice! What about that? Can you leave these cats? His I mean, I think they are, but they are not that annoying. Okay, I need to... Please don't hit me. Oh, hello, Daishi. What's up, dude? It's Baro. It's him. The Bulldozer. You know him. 
Who like him? We like battles, okay? That's a good point. This is like the round icon. We like the round icon, whatever that is. I can't die, never mind. Nice, dude. Monster Hunter World is fantastic. It's really, really good. Probably my favorite one. Yes, Classic Monster Hunter. Classic Monster Hunter, but upgraded. That's why I love it so much. Yo. Oh god. And without Renoplos. But I think the Renoblos are not in war. Yow! Yay. Yeah, cool, cool barrel fight. He has certain circles around you. You mean this series in pre ultimate or YouTube? But I mean the game ends when you defeat the the true final boss of the main story. I mean, it, it can end when you whatever you want, like this. Yes. I should be good for the game. I mean, if you mean in YouTube, the plan is to be the final boss of the main story. And then if someone is willing to play, which there's only one guy, I'm willing to keep on going, going back to this game. Fuck you. To the online. But I, I wouldn't mind trying to fight the, the pit guy Mirai, who is the true final boss of the online. But you know, just... Right now, the main objective to really is to defeat the main story boss. But you know, it's if you haven't played, I don't know if you played 3 or not, but it's. It's the Adeus, or whatever it's pronounced. But then, as I said, I don't mind coming back here from time to. I mean, once per week, just to play online. And let's see if we can. You know. Defeat the Admiralis, but that's gonna be a, a grind. Which I'm not mind. I like one most, one monster hunter per week. I'm saying yeah, I'm absolutely in. Force to a side blow with the great sword. I mean if you mean the full charge combo, you have this one, I mean fully charged. This and then fully charged. And that's it, there's no third fully charged attack. That's from world. That's all you get. I think you cannot do it. No, you are forced to do it. Welcome to old school monster hunting, boys. <laughs> Welcome to old school monster hunting. Yeah, I, I think there's no way to not do that one. You are forced to do that here, to the side, for, the side blow. Yeah, pretty sure you cannot do it. I think in 4 they change it and you are not forced to do it, I think. That's the good thing of War. It's like the same game but they upgrade everything. It doesn't have annoying mechanics or just things that feel like from the past. 
on the prehistoric era. Like, I, in Rise, I mean, I don't remember the world right now. But in Rise, you basically any hit with the switch axe. Any hit can be from axe, from sword, and from sword to axe. In this game, there's only a few attacks. That you can go from axe to sword, and from sword to axe. Which, that's a bummer. Because I really love, I mean... Switches is like kind of my favorite weapon. I'm using now Greatsword because I don't even know. I mean, Greatsword is my second favorite weapon. But it was really cool in Rise when you can... Anything can switch. Like, you truly are the switch axe. That was the coolest thing. And this one is just a few hits. And the, but then again, this is the game that the switch, are, the switch axe was introduced for the first time. It's sweet. I think switch axe and there was another weapon. Ah. I love switch axe. I, I don't care if it's good or bad. I'm just, I mean, I would like to get a switch axe at some point. For whatever the duration of this, don't hit me. As I said many times, I don't know how long this game will be here. Yikes. Wow. But I would like to get at least one switch axe. Because I like it. How's the long sword? That is fine. I think Lowsword is always fine. I mean, it's not a counter make him. Oh shit. I mean, I don't know what is your experience with old school Monster Hunter games. I mean, old school is before war, but every single weapon is kind of the same. But it feels like you lack something compared to the other ones. Like, now I feel weird because I'm missing the third charge attack. Or a few things, like the switch act. I'm missing switching from any time. Palico? There's no Palico. It's Sacha. That's my Palico. Look at him. This is, I think this is the only Monster Hunter game where you don't have a cat friend. You have a Shakalaka. Yeah! And in Ultimate, you have a second one. You have Kayamba, which is the same thing. Oga Oga, how you like that, dad? <laughs> ah, it's fine, it's fine, like... I mean, these games are kind of full at this point. So I can understand, how, you know, if you played World and Rise, you can feel a little bit confused of the other ones. Which is fine, I don't know about that, just... It, it's like archaic, like... As I'm telling you, if you go from War to here, and you feel you're going to feel weird because it's like... Game feels slower, more slow pace, and you're like lacking stuff from the from the weapons. I mean, it's still great sword is still great sword. You charge the you charge the attack and you do damage, and that's it. But for example, you're lacking the third hit. Vale, good, yeah. I mean, Kayamba is Chacha and Kayamba are the same thing. They they work the same. I think it's in Monster Hunter 1. Uh, you actually have nothing. It's you on your own. I cannot say much because I barely played the game. Uh, all I played on Monster Hunter 1 is on YouTube. <laughs> just to give you an idea. But yeah, I just... They are fine. I mean... A cat is a cat, of course. A cool cat or, you know, a dog in rice, but... Chacha is fine. That's just really cool. He dance. He dances and gives you buffs. And that's probably the biggest um I have probably the biggest difference that you're going to feel really weird from going from war to this game. 
You cannot move while healing. <laughs> like in this game, you heal. I mean, it's an instant heal. As soon as the animation is over, you have a full heal. But you cannot move. You're stuck in there. Yikes. We like the cat. Quick the cat. Like I mean Chacha right now is kind of not that great because he has levels. You need to level you need to level him up. Just like the cats, the panicos. And I think you can get him a skills and masks. Yeah, you can give him a mask and that changes how he behaves. And he can have abilities. Just like, you know, Palicos have classes in the modern day Monster Hunter. I don't know about those school. I think they did in 4. Shit. Oh, this is painful. That was peaks. Oh, maybe another thing. That it's it was introduced in Monster Hunter 4. I guess. No jump no jump attacks. Nothing. But that was for me one of the coolest things introduced in Monster Hunter 4. Like when Monster Hunter 4 was new, I was abusing jump attacks. I love them. They were so cool. And there were so many cool ones in world. Dude, I love in Monster Hunter World when you have a sword and seal and you do a dash attack into a wall that you can climb and you do like a... You do like... <laughs> links down there. I love it. Hi! It's fine, he's not even charging. This is what I'm talking about. This is the entire animation of healing. You cannot move. You can move. Now. There's nothing you can do. You know, in World and I guess in Rise, you can actually move. It, this, you are slowly healing yourself. But you can move, so you can dodge stuff. You feel more safe. In the in old school, is like, no, you are standing still. So there are situations that you just... Heal and get killed. Acceptable A lister. I guess it's an NPC. The, the only NPCs I truly remember are the the main cast ones and the chef. The cat chef. That was my chance. Yeah. He's limpy. You know what true actual real problem I'm having with this game? I'm not even kidding. There is a lot of text in the village. Like a lot, a lot of text. Like, why oh, there's so much? Why oh, there's so much? I mean, I'll say there's more in war, but for some reason, it just. <clears throat> Give me monster. Give me monster. I'm a psychopath. I'm here. I'm here in the business of killing, not talking. I 
I mean, if he's a fatality, uh, I'm not a fatality. If he is an Iceborne NPC, I absolutely have no idea who he is because I never played Iceborne. I don't even have Iceborne. That's what I'm planning to. That's what I'm planning to play on December. If I'm really in the mood for more Monster Hunter, just play some Iceborne, Monster Hunter. Oh shit! I got Wombo Combo. Was that? Oh shit, there was that dude in a mask who barely talks? Who was obsessed with Mercy Dante? Or am I mistaken? Ow! Hold on, here. I cannot think of him right now. <laughs> Please die. Yeah, the weapon is bouncing off every single hit. But he's getting some mud. I can't remember. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. The ones characters I truly remember are the handler, the, the chief. This armor guy has told you about. There you go, what a waste of wisdom. Fine. And the chef, the cat chef. No, they are not. You need to get them. You need to get your whetstone, they are not infinite. Dude, welcome to old school Monster Hunter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are world players that they wouldn't enjoy old school Monster Hunter. Do you know how you get items in Monster Hunter? Let's see if I can. I still love them. I still really love Monster Hunter. As I said, listen, I love Monster Hunter, that if, if, when it comes to streaming, I might do Iceborne in War. I would even love to do Generations Ultimate. Yeah, weapons are not unlimited. You need to use Cold Drinks and Hot Drinks, which I think in War, you only need Cold Drinks, I think. Well, maybe in Iceborne you need a Hot Drink. But you know, Iceborne is cold. Some Juggernaut. Yeah, a few things here and there. Movement is more clunky. That's, that, that's probably the biggest thing. You go from war to here, it feels more clunky. Everything. Nice one. You mean the victory theme? Oh, that sounds awesome, dude. Monster Hunter 3 victory theme. I read something that in the Amaxu fight, you know, from, from, you know, uh, Rise, you have sound effects from 3. I still have yet to fight Amatsu in Rise. Okay, new mask. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Monster Hunter 3 keeps on winning. Yeah, this game is great. As I'm saying, like, I'm pretty sure people from World and Rise maybe will play this and they won't really enjoy it because it feels slower, maybe a little bit clunky. I will even say the game doesn't look that great, even though I don't care about that, but. Pretty soon people will be annoyed, like, this game doesn't look that great. SD, I love this game so much. That's for the garbage. Yeah. 
Oh, ya, yeah, dude, the Behemoth. The Behemoth fight is so cool. Probably one of my favorite hunts in the entire franchise. <laughs> Almost the Hunter. Because you actually need rolls. I remember... The game said you need two DPS, one tank, and one healer. And when you actually do that, it's really, really cool. It actually works. And the fight is awesome. Fluffy mask, grill mask. There you go. You also have a Witcher monster. You have the Legend. That's from the Witcher. Point is, Monster Hunter War is my favorite Monster Hunter game. A Gobul. Hey, you want to see underwater fighting? Only in 3. Only in Monster Hunter 3. That's him. Sorry if I'm skipping kind of text. Honestly, I don't really get <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm an asshole. But welcome to Monster Hunter 3, the only game with underwater fighting. Remember the Royal Ludro? It's from this game. Do you know why he looks like a fish? He goes underwater. I really need to upgrade my weapon. Great Jaggy Claw. It wouldn't be a bad idea to try to... To try and get something. Cada King Sword. Yo, that's Lutroth. Ground Dasher. <laughs> Monster Bone. Okay, listen, whatever, I'll be fine. I mean, I'll be fine, kinda. I, I really need the... <laughs> I really need the green. The green one. I mean, I can just... Fight a great Jaggy. And get the Machalite War. I think I'm going to do it. I'm sorry, boys. Is there a new one over here that is... Okay, let's go. Yeah, sorry about this. It's just... I need it. I need to upgrade this thing. It's becoming a pain now. And then the, the, the clown move. I need Machalite Ori. <laughs> but... I only have one Mega Pickaxe. So if that, thing's bre if that thing breaks... Yikes. Fun. I mean, I can just go to the Moga Forest, no problem. No problem at all. Hello. This will be faster because my weapon is stronger now. But guess what? I need to I need to land my hits. Yeah. 
No, in, in all good all all must monster hunter fashion. I'm gonna kill it, but get no glow. Oh shit. It just peace! I'm dying. There's no better Monster Hunter experience that defeat one monster because you need one single thing and he's not giving it to you. You stop with the spam. Yeah, shit. Oh, he's peace now. He's not running away, he just hit Wait, he's running away. I mean, I'm guessing for the claw, I need to break the claw. Maybe. Makes sense. I can get some matcha lita. Matcha lit or matcha light or whatever. And I don't even know what they did with my character hair. It looks like a helmet right now. He looks good with the armor. Crystal bone. I think there's no matcha lit in here. Well, I think they this, but not in that one. You need the caves. <sighs> well, let's let's try your luck in the caves. On rolling. This will save me a trip into the Moga village. If I really get Machalita in here. Oh, he's right there. He's limping. It's fine. I mean I thought you went I thought you went to get some dinner. It's fine, dude. Maybe I will take it easy today. Maybe I will just try to upgrade the weapon. You know, upgrade the weapon. Fight goal, and maybe that will be it for today. Maybe. And I think Machalita is in uh, Moga Village. Absolutely. I think. Non big buster. Yeah, please well some Moga Village. Okay, this is like Jagusa. I'm gonna to do I'm going to do this thing and leave. And then this thing takes like four hours to do. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, 
The things you do for some uh, green, green sharpness. There it is. No, it is much little. With that, it is as simple as getting into the Moga Forest. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's where I got Machalita because I think I didn't mine in here in the in the desert. Elemental damage is just elemental damage. Some monsters are weak to ice damage. Some monsters are resistant to ice damage. You're not going to freeze a monster. <laughs> but you know, like, monsters that are weak to ice... I think Barroth. I think Barroth is weak to ice, so... That ice damage is going to do more against Barroth. But for example, Barrioth... The pretty sure Bar Barrioth can... Resist ice damage. And at the end of the day, I say it's fine. It's very helpful against some monsters, but with other monsters, it's just a whatever. Like, for example, you can get electric damage. Thunder damage is really good against Rathalos and Rathian, if I remember correctly. But then again, you fight a Sinogre with an electric weapon, and it's... Um, done. Think about it about think about um a damage boost. Yeah, this this game has many monsters. Ah, you have more to come. Still more to come. And this is not the monster hunter with the most monsters. That's uh I think that is a still generations ultimate. Or maybe you know it's war or rise because you have the base ba the base game monsters plus the plus the free DLC plus the pay DLC plus the free DLC from the pay DLC. But the thing is generations ultimate it just it has everyone. It has it has almost every monster in the franchise. That's the whole point. The more the merrier, am I right, fellas? I'm guessing Machalita is uh, low luck. Stone. Wait, well, maybe Machalita is in the in the swamp. Yeah, it might be the swamp. It has to be on. It has to be on the swamp. Yeah, upgrade the farm, but it's really important because. 
You, you hate fighting Rathalos and Rathian? Oh, that's a really hot take, buddy. I'm pretty... I mean, I love fighting them. But then again, it just... It's fine if you don't. But pretty sure... Wait a second. Let's see. Go to the. The princess really loves them. The poison, especially gold Rathian. Yeah, the gold. I mean, the gold is just a different kind of creature. They can do really, really cool stuff. Blooded forest. Nice. Let's see if I can get something cool. I mean, they are, for me, they are most they are just fun to fight. But you know, you don't like they just. I mean, it's a take I will. I'm surprised to read that. <laughs> they are just fun, but yeah, the poison can be. The backflip. The killer backflip. And then you cut the tail, and you still get poison. So, okay, let's focus on Machali Teoria. There it is. There it is. Okay, new weapon obtained, boys. You know what monster I really, really hate to fight? GG Nox. And Kesu, I guess. I hate Kesu. It just, it's a weird monster. Nargakuga can be really annoying too. When he gets like in the funny moveset, he's untouchable. Yeah, <laughs> run attack. Who's my big so quick? Uh, I think it's the. How do you see the skills? I think you cannot see the skills. Yeah, gathering plus one. Pedisu is that it. It's the armor. But yeah, the running move from the Rathian and Rathalos, they're so annoying. You just... You get hit by that so much. They, they just run, they hit you, and they do a lot of damage. You enjoy the dinner, buddy. Listen, if I'm not here when you arrive, because probably I will defeat Gobul and get out of here, and how I would Red Wick and all that crap, you know? How I would everything. Nice. Sorry. There are monsters that they are not that great to fight in Rise. The biggest problem in Rise, the biggest monster problem for me in Rise was uh, Rajang. Not because he's hard, it's because he's a bitch. Rajan in Rise, he's a bitch, and I was really disappointed. Like, you, you, you see Rajan, 20 Monster Hunter player? Terror. Horror. Fear. Rajan. Then you fight Rajan in Rise, it's like. Yes. Who? Literally, who? And I was really disappointed. I don't know how he's in war because I don't know he's from Rice, no, from Iceborne, and I haven't played Iceborne. But at least in Rice, he's a bitch. Ah, it's fine, dude. Don't worry. Glad to see that he's at Menace in Iceborne. I can assure you, you tell to any uh, long time Monster Hunter player, you just say Rajang, you can see fear in his eyes. You can see fear in his eyes. Like, what, my first time fighting Rajang was in Fall Ultimate with this friend. I remember playing online, just casually, and someone post, hey, help me with a Rajang. 
And I remember he posts that and my friend said, I'm out. <laughs> it's not in the mood. <laughs> He's just such a menace. It's insane. Like, I don't know if you fight the, the Rajan. He's, he's such a man. He's just so disgusting monster. Fast, deadly. Don't flash him. Don't blind him. Just... Yikes. A menace. A mischievous evil man. Why not Ginox? Uh, yeah. I mean, the biggest problem with Ginox is that... He clings to a wall and he spans poison moves. Rayan, he clings on you and you die. That's it. <laughs> he spans you, he throws boulders. He goes Super Saiyan. Charge Blade, no, no, no. Charge Blade and Insect Glaive was introducing four. And this is three, so, you know, it's not here. Like three introduce oh anti theft plus six ah. like three introduce the switch axe and I think it introduced another weapon but I don't remember which one Okay let's actually fight underwater now Great weapons Yes. That's the battle one. Yeah, with minus 30 affinity. I think I barely fought Lehiana soon. Dude, I dude, I swear I have memories of the game saying, oh you need Lehiana things for this weapon or this armor or whatever. And I remember talking to my friend, asking, who is Legiana? And he's telling me, I don't know. <laughs> we barely fought that thing. I barely remember anything for Legiana. Yeah. Oh yeah, in this game, each weapon has different numbers. Like, in Rise, every weapon has like 60, 70, 80. I mean, that's the thing with uh, great swords. Big number. See, 520 a big number, but you, you've seen the gameplay. You've seen the gameplay. Power ship, okay. Uh, bomb boost. I'm, I'm not even using boss bomb plot, whatever. Corner. Just whatever you want, buddy. Basically, you know. Loaded numbers and true numbers. <laughs> it's kind of good. Uh, I think Ganner is usually kind of busted. I, I guess it depends on the game. But Ganner are usually busted. I, at least in Rise, they were busted. Longsword and Gunners everywhere. Then again, Longswords are everywhere in Monster Hunter. <laughs> Listen. The healing build I use for Monster Hunter. Sword and Seal with a... I don't know how it's called. It's an ability that when you heal, people in the same area also heals. I think it's called Area of Effect. I don't know the name in English. I'm sorry. That's what they do all the time. And then I have like Sushi Fist and I have Potions. I have everything. The only stigma is on the longsword because because you attack the longsword and you trip your partners. Longsword is the only weapon that actually gets bullied. But now it's the monster hunter community. Everything is fine. In my experience at least. By the way, boys, I'm gonna show you a trick about the gobble. You go here. Frog obtained. You get a frog, you find the gobble. Who should be right here? Never mind.
Let's go over here. No. Yeah, he is. He's. Bro. We're not using a frog for the request. We're using the frog for this. I, I mean, I think it's going to work. I guess it's not working because we need to trigger the cutscene. You can, uh, that's how you get the Goku. Are you the Goku? No. Okay, the thing is, Goku is usually here. You can throw the floor and you can piece the Goku. You mean the Goku? You can fish the goal with the frog and you can start the fight with the goal on land. And he's really weak on land. Like every, every underwater monster is a lot weaker in on land. That's him! That's the goal! No, no, not that one. I think he had a really good armor. He has like a Somewhat Chinese armor, and it was really cool. Oh, shit! Yeah. I mean, you piece the gobble, he goes to land, and he's like on the floor. You know, he's tumbling around. It's like a free, op it's a free way to open the fight. Oh, shit! A gobble! Yeah, absolutely. He's a kid. I mean, Lagarus is really good. Have you seen Lagarus? It's like basically a high gun. It's like a big limit on fist. He's really, really cool. I really like the design. I like the electric damage. But yeah, Monster Hunter babies love. Uh, Monster Hunter 3 babies love Lagarus. I do. I really like Lagarus. I think he's really, really cool. And we want him back. But to make like a group justice, we need underwater fighting. Like, I still feel weird fighting Royal Ludro without water. Uy. But yeah, listen, I don't know if you like Lagagrus or not. I think his design is really cool. I like the colors. I like the design. I like the elemental electric damage. He just cool, okay? Shit. I mean, he's... You can fight like Yagros in Generations Ultimate, I think, but... It's not like Yagros, like... A savage piece of like Yagros, which is white, and it doesn't go underwater. <laughs> he's... Yes, this is you. Hey, boys, look like Yagros. He's not in. I think he just cool, that's it. Cool design. Favorite, favorite monster is a steel Kurupeko. Kurupeko stays winning. <laughs> Never mind, it's only like it's only in three. I don't even remember if he's in generations. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, we said we go to fight these guys. I mean, there are forgotten weapons. I think there are some weapons that they are like don't pass. There is like a monster. I mean, I think it's the servers are done already. It was like a um, shit. Online only monster hunter. You have like don't pass or something. I will do. I, I will kill for punching weapon monster hunter. Like punching weapon. I mean. I guess the closest thing can be the, the Tonfa. Finally. Tally me Monster Hunter. <laughs> oh, you just beat the Rising? Awesome, dude. That's an awesome game. I love the Rising, dude. I hope you had fun. The Rising is really cool. Like this picture of this guy. Yeah. A spear. Oh, I mean, you have the lance, but I guess you mean a spear, something like um. Oh shit! A two spear, something like a naginata or something, right? There is in two of the record. Nice choice. Nice choice. I love the prices. That's still some fun games. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought that War was also a spin-off game, but people say, like, Monster Hunter War is Monster Hunter 5. But yeah, Rice is a spin off. I guess it makes sense, the game is really different. Oh shit! Nice. The, off the record and then two. Nice Sonic Boom. You know, honestly, the only thing I'm asking for the next Monster Hunter game is uh, underwater fighting. Yeah, everybody called Monster Hunter uh, War. Who's Sonic Boom? They just call it Monster Hunter 5. But I, what I really thought from next Monster Hunter game is underwater fighting at but with a lot of cool like you get like Yagdus back, you get Gobble back. But yeah, Luton keeps coming back, but there's no underwater fighting. Get the pleasure back, keep PTSD to the to the head, keep check. You get some cool new monster like octopus monster. Yo, octopus monster boys. There you go. It's shit, I don't care. No wild one here. That's what I'm saying. Like I love Monster Hunter Rise. Don't get me wrong. I love Monster Hunter Rise, but I hope the next one it's more like world and less than Rise. You know what we really need from Rise to, into the next Monster Hunter game? The dogs. That's all we need. <laughs> I maybe some quality of life changes here and there. Ah oh, shit. I'll show you about the Racing 3. The Racing 3 is really fun. Paligos Dogos. Yeah. I'm more of a dog person myself, but... I don't know what, that, what that, that has to do with anything, but... Yeah, I think Paligos are more useful than... The dogs. The canines. They are cool. They are really, really cool. Okay, we're not biting, boys. I guess because he knows I'm here. But I'm gonna guess the do dogos are 
back in, in every single Monster Hunter game, absolutely. Shit. Very good. Anyway, oh, but paralyzed. Oh shit. Oh! Okay, I'm out. Okay, boys, this is what we need for Monster Hunter 3. Monster Hunter 5, or whatever it's coming. Punching weapon, water. And that's it. Listen, you get underwater fighting, I'm happy. That's all I need, really. I'm not even kidding. Even if you don't include that, I'm gonna be happy anyway. <laughs> when you want the hunter, I mean. You know, and he's not the stupid, you're not biting him. <laughs> now he's getting out of the water, and now you're selfie. What is special about Monster Hunter for Ultimate? Uh, game is really, really good. The maps are really good. The monsters are really good. You have the jump. Now you have jump attacks. That's awesome. No, there is for there is Monster Hunter Four, but it's Japan only. Because this is the time where Capcom does do some weird shit, and they just. At least the base game and a few years later, or one year later, or even less, you have the same game but better. For us, for America and Europe, they just got the ultimate version. Yeah. I mean, Cross is Generation. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think Cross is Generations. What's it? Okay, Street Fighter 4 is an exception, okay? And Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom 3. But yeah, I'm, we got that with Monster Hunter, I'm happy. I mean, it took us longer to play Monster Hunter 4. But we got the full game. Cha Cha Shorty. And that's really nice. Monster Hunter 4 is awesome. I mean, it's really weird to say, oh, this is Monster Hunter, this is Monster Hunter, that. Every Monster Hunter is the same, and <laughs> the other is the same. And I love the franchise. Oh, he has escaped. But I see my favorite Monster Hunter is either World or 4 Ultimate. For Ultimate, so. Do you know what 4 Ultimate has? Cutscenes for every single monster. And most of those cutscenes, your character shows up. And if there are some bosses where. or some cutscenes that your friends are in there. And that's awesome. That's incredible. I think 4 is really, really good. It's peak Monster Hunter. Equal a lower main Monster Hunter game on the console. Monster Hunter live on PSP for many, many years. I mean, I think Monster Hunter is where it is right now because of PSP. But then you say main line, and that's your point. Monster Hunter 1 and 2, it just. PS2, then 3 is on the Wii. Then you have your Frontiers and... I don't know where he went. Your Frontiers and your stuff like that. And it's... That's it. And then 4 was 3DS. Ah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, 4 is... I mean, 3 is on, 3 is on the 3DS and PSP, but... 3 start on the Wii. And you have the Wii version of 3. I think he's here. Wait, Chacha is super dead. Okay, he's here. Wakusan Karate! Wakusan is back, and this time, he's pissed. 
Oh yeah, Monster, Monster Hunter Stories is weird because you have the first one on 3DS and the second one on Steam and Switch. But I think I cannot fix him now with the frog because I think he, he's sleeping right now. Wagusan is back, and this time he is peace. Nice one. There you go, big damage. Next, I think next year is the uh, whatever anniversary of Monster Hunter. So most likely next year we'll have announced a new Monster Hunter game. I mean, there's already a new Monster Hunter game for the cell phone. It's Monster Hunter Go or something like that. I think it's like Pokemon Go but Monster Hunter. <laughs> whatever that's supposed to be. Yeah, most likely next year we'll have something nice. Monster Hunter related, most likely. What? Yeah, assembly is over. Rice, the entirety of Rice is over, including the DLC. I still need to get in there and defeat Amatsu and the uh, special Malseno. Yeah, most likely next year or maybe at the end of this year they will be like, hey boys, Monster Hunter. There you go. Monster Hunter World 2. Damn! Now with El Cabezón as a monster. Oh my god. Monster Hunter World is still kicking ass. I think Monster Hunter World... I wouldn't be surprised if there are still more players in World than Rise. That's how good World is. World is really, really good. By the way, I didn't break the thingy. You need to break the, the lantern to get full items. A cool item, cool item, singular. I maybe the player base of Rise will go up ever since you know it's now on different consoles. Now it's on PlayStation and Xbox and PC, and to have somebody coming up. But yeah, I just war was never ending. I swear, war was was still kicking ass. No, doesn't matter what. And people saying Rice is really good, I'm back to world. It's better. <laughs> it's really, really good. Full city reward. Anti theft, whatever. Okay, come on. I will advise all Sassy. Go live. That's pretty nice. Voice acting was implemented in war for the first time. Unless you mean the hunter voice, like in Rise. Like, I love when my hunter goes, He's up to something! <laughs> it's really nice to see that your, your hunter is actually a human being. And not just a killing machine. I think I unlocked the Forester Hunts now. Hey. Look at all these things I'm not doing. You <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Cool with Virion. Yikes. Still works underwater. Ooh. I barely have stuff, right? Yeah, I barely have stuff to train. Where is the clock? I mean, I guess. Maybe this was because we were so tired of watching the... Monster Hunter has been using the same engine all the time for a really, really long time. Finally, potions. So maybe actually seeing the hunters, how they're supposed to be like, like he real humans. Who wish to pay me tribute? Tribute. It was really nice to see. You have no idea how excited I got. Every single new... Announcement of all rise. And how excited I got when I finally got the game for Steam with a friend. With the, oh, it was so fun. It was so good. <laughs> I just have love for this franchise, boys. I just... I adore this franchise. I, I guess... Most of the love is kind of personal because of all of these stories and good memories with this friend playing this game. But yeah, dude. Oh, Tundra unlocked. Barbos and Great Jaggy. Lagombi. Buggy. Okay, who wants to hunt a, a, a rabbit? Monster Hunter friend is PlayStation is PS3 friend. Remember this friend I talk all the time about th this friend that let he gave me his PS3 so I can stream so I can play Dead Souls and Red Dead Redemption is the same friend. I'm hunting wabbits. Okay, I guess we're hunting, we're hunting this thing. Uh, maybe I saw many things. Like, this is the friend I played every single game. Like, it, out of the 900 hours I have with Left 4 Dead, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, 600 of those hours are with him alone. This is the friend. I, every time I say playing video games with friends, most of the time it's this guy, PS3 friend. As I said, PS3 friends and Jagusa friend. Jagusa friend is the friend that only played uh, Jagusa games. The only one that has played Jagusa games. And by Jagusa games, I mean Zero, Kiwami 1, Kiwami 2, like a dragon. He played 3 but gave up. <laughs> no. I mean, la this weekend I actually told a friend the, the YouTube channel in which I stream. This friend is the only one that has no clue about English. So even if he gets here, he will have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> he can speak the language, he understands nothing. But yeah, as I said, last time I got... Um, in the previous weekend, or a few weekends ago, I got drunk because you know, we hang out with friends, we have fun. I got a little bit tipsy and I just told to at least two friends I'm streaming and they didn't give a shit, so that's perfect. A part of me really regrets telling them that I stream. Even a part of me even regrets telling this uh, this friend that I stream. Even though just I don't know, I'd rather the less people know is the better, honestly. I don't mind, I don't care, but at the same time, like... I don't know. Oh shit! Ass attack! Okay. 
Fuck Biggs. Ja. Jeg er jo ligesom ikke dårlig Biggs. I mean, if I... <laughs> if I wasn't speaking English, I would be speaking Spanish. They don't think it would be in Spanish. Remember that the reason of me streaming was <clears throat> to pass an English profici proficiency test. A, a B2. That's why I started streaming. That's why the Resident Evil stream exists. That's why the Monster Hunter 1 stream exists. That's why I start to stream Yakuza. Ah, also, also the Resident Evil Director's Cut. I really don't want my friends watching that one. <laughs> so yeah, listen, it, it, as I say, it's always the same topics. Also, this, uh, this level is kind of big, actually. It's like, it's massive. Yeah, the main reason I'm here, um, English test, English proficiency test. Because the, pros the pronunciation was so bad, I had to include that thing. And how do you improve English? You speak in English, that's it. There's no... You know, shortcut. And when I... By the way, I, when I actually try to actually take it seriously and stream a lot, just to improve the English, it was the same week. Like, the same week you see the Yakuza one, the Yakuza part one, is the same week I had the test. <laughs> what a buffoon. Final Fantasy X, I mean, if you want it on PC, uh, this week is the Steam Summer Sales, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. If you want it on PC, if you want it on PlayStation or whatever, then I can check you there. But your Summer Sale will happen. I'm pretty sure you don't even need a, a strong PC to play uh, Final Fantasy X. Unless, you know, you really want to play on the PlayStation. Then that's your choice. Oh, that's fine. Yes, I remember that Final Fantasy X was on PlayStation 2. Monster Hunter, can, Monster Hunter can steal your soul before you notice. Let's do a little bit of Monster Hunting and suddenly he's Monster Hunter non stop. Yikes. It is still your life. He's so big that he's missing some attacks. That's why he's missing the the ice attack. He's way too big. That's the whole point. That's why he's missing. He's way too big for us. He must be contained. You know, right now I regret not downloading the data transfer from 3DS to Wii U. I would love to have my character in here. But now that Aesop is closed, tough luck, buddy. You cannot do it. But though, well, that's life. That's life. I say that because I just remember. I think I made the Lagombi armor for the 3DS. I don't know if it was the standard Lagombi or the high rank Lagombi. But this way I made this guy's armor. 
Oh, he failed. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> well, I mean, if he's... I um... ah, don't worry, dude. Listen. I'm sorry, Likakao. Just the life of a no-life nerd. I play a video. And I don't grind. I just go forward. But yeah, I mean, the volumes chat. They know about everything about Yakuza. Someone out there will say, oh, dude, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Grandpa uh, Bakusan. The powerful being. I'm fine. You don't need to worry about that. Just enjoy the game on your own, it's fine. Have fun with Hunter Monster. Ultimate 3. Have fun one fighting Wagusan, the final boss. Oh my god, it's Wagusan! Oh shit. G's over here. Can you get out of the loading screen? Please? Oh shit. Oh, it's dying. Good. Can sleep here, so maybe I can wait a little bit. Whatever. Kill, kill, kill. Yikes. Can you get double loading screen? <laughs> I don't worry about that, dude. I said many times, do just worry about your thing and be, be fine. Don't worry about me. Just focus on your thing, do what you like, enjoy. If you, if you want to play a game spoiler free, then sure, I completely understand that. I don't worry, I don't even apologize. It's fine. I mean, a Sleeping Dog Extreme was... I actually did main story only, so... Extreme was really short, actually, for Sleeping Dogs. But it's fine, don't worry. I mean, when you actually play the game... I hope you have fun. I love Sleeping Dogs. It's a really fun game. Yeah, it's fine. I understand that. Oh, I'm almost plus. I completely understand that people getting out because they don't want to see sport of the game. There's nothing I say from time to time. Like they, We have the time with Kiwami 2 and 5 and all these parts in the YouTube channel. Numbers were high, even though it was just numbers because auto player, whatever. As soon as Ising came here, Yagusa Isin, of course. Numbers started to go lower. Or probably because people didn't care anymore about this stupid ass channel, or they didn't want to get spoiled because of Isin, which I understand. We say standing for it, yeah. I mean, they both are cops. 
point is, don't worry about getting in here. It's best because you have, a, you don't want to get spoiled or you just want to do other thing. It's fine, boys. Don't you worry about the thing. You guys already done a lot for me. Maybe just to come here and say hi. Or just posting a, a funny on Discord. <laughs> on this forced Discord. That was important. <laughs> you don't need to worry about anything, boys. It's fine. New cat. Patata. Wait, his name is Patata. That's potato. Uh, I think it's Pepe. Marron. Tomata. Tuber. Patapon cat. Pepino Cocomero Paprika I like patata, honestly You're, you're patata now Remember, boys, after Monster Hunter 3 We play some Patapon 3 <laughs> Imagine I'm pat upon anything at this point. What is pat upon? What is my pat upon -ians? Where is pat upon? Check out the cool uh, Lagombi helmet. Check out the Gobul helmet. That's a really cool one. So mean. Damn. Dude, the high rank one is even cooler. Eating swimming expert. Mm, Olympic swimmer. Yeah, swimming expert and eating. I say the same monster Soul Calibur anything will be awesome for me. Cool pants. We take Monster Hunter anything at this point. No Monster Hunter, um Soul Calibur. Monster Bone Plus and Monster Bone Hell. So let's wait for Yeah. Hi. I mean, you can have some Soul Edge and Soul Calibur, like Sophidia, Soul Calibur with Sword and Seal. There's so many cool weapons. And you have the Nightmare Armor and the Siegfried Armor. Then you have the the IV armor, <laughs> quote unquote armor. <laughs> I'm gonna have the bag, by the way. Armor. <laughs> Uh, I most likely I will guarantee a most uh, Soul Calibur 6 stream after the Persona 2. You know, after Persona 2 and Persona 2 2 is done, most likely Soul Calibur 6 stream. Because I want to do the stupidity of. If I play another Persona game, Soul Calibur will choose. I will create the four main characters of the other games 
fight, Wither gets a chance. Anything to do a Monster Hunter is no Monster Hunter. Soul Calibur. Just one, you know, just one. It's like Ninja Gaiden. Talking about Ninja Gaiden, I want to go back to Ninja Gaiden 1 and actually beat it without the, you know, the, the rewind system. You know, I beat it like through NES fashion. Oh shit, a buggy? No way. No! Yeah, okay, yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. You must be ninja. That's what I, that's what I know that Ninja Gaiden 2 has uh, stage hazards and Ninja Gaiden 3 has like no continues. Because I never played those two. This is surprising how AVGN, after so many years, is still relevant. In a really good way. This video is still really good. We like the hack, and we like the slot. Oi! Yeah, dude, I love Ninja Gaiden. Only experience is Ryuha Yabusa in Viral Eye. <laughs> That's something I genuinely want to do at some point. Dead or Alive, only to play as Ryuha Yabusa. <laughs> yeah, dude, play the Booba fighting game by... The ultimate Booba fighting game. No, I want to play the Ryuha Yabusa fighting game. Nice. Your fair exposure to Ruhayabusa was him doing it in a drop to some big Buba lady. <laughs> Dude, the life songs always look really, really great. I mean, there's something about the game that always looks fine, but... It feels like everything, like... Any kind of commercial or ad or teaser goes to the tits. <laughs> Ninja Gaiden is fucking massive, mate. I think five and six are free to play, but it has like there's like a cat. You don't have the full roster or anything. I'm willing to play just one of those if Yuhayabusa is playable. Random never live stream Yuhayabusa. That's it. I mean, I know the roster. I know it's like a wrestling big Buba lady. And I think there are two characters that everybody hates. I haven't really been talking about that a long time ago. Like, there are two characters that everybody hates and they say they're ruined Dead or Alive. Then again, and my experience with Dead or Alive is... Ninja Gaiden. I had to talk about that. that they're a bit of fighter character. That's awesome. Yeah, I think there are insane crossovers in Dora Life 5. I think you also have. I think you also have Mai from, from King of Fighters. Those are really cool. Cool crossover. I'll say sadly, the Dora Life these days something like Sulkai. It was kind of a somewhat niche game. The ultimate is not in. Boo! Like, what's even the point of having been built a fighter? His ultimate kick will be lethal. He 
que el Hayabusa. Still is a point that he never got into Smash Ultimate. Oh, you bitch! Oh, kill me, Chacha! Oh, he's running away. Oh, shit. Oh, kill me, Nomer. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Hello, Spartan! Dude! What even is the Dora Dude, the Dora was massive and now it's like. Booba game that no one really cares. Hey, what's up, dude? It's in hanging. No! I think it's like a. I think it's a survival thing. Some kind of a niche game. I'm just saying. Many monsters are jokes in Rise. Many monsters. Ah! This is the biggest joke, the loading the screen. What you looking at? That's the problem when you give the player uh, an ability to escape of the danger any moment. And you have like counters all the time. And many speed and many of everything. As I said, I love rice, but ah, uh, you know. I mean, it's a great jaggy that can put you to sleep. <laughs> That's all there is. <gasps> Thank you. What? That that's a silly way to kill your game. That's a silly way to kill your fighting game. Oh god. Touch up. A silly and sad way to kill your game. That's your bread and butter in, in Marvel School Monster Hunter. But I, I'm still thinking about the micro transactions of the Dora Life 6. Like, what the fuck is that? That's just like. That's not like a spreading lies, but I remember checking out the Dora Life 6 uh, page on Steam. And you have a shit ton of DLC. Like, a lot. So I absolutely believe that. It's a big same. <laughs> Pretty sure the the live extreme games actually did damage to the franchise as a as a whole. Because you went some Fighting it with sex appeal into whatever that was. And pretty sure that somehow that did well. And they put the game around that. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh shit, chacha. Just saying, because I'm telling you, I remember watching some Dead or Alive 3 and 4, maybe even 5, and the game looks really nice. There's something cool about the game. And yeah, it goes beyond Ryu Hayabusa, okay? It goes beyond Ninja Gaiden being playable. <laughs> ah, cha cha! Oh, he's also sleeping. No, please! Yeah. 
Do you really think they will put male characters in a sexy beach game? No. This game is for men only. <laughs> That's why we need to have a boost in Super Smash Brothers. There you go. Fat slap. When the ninja is guiding, guiding. Wow. Yeah. Lip suck. I would really like to be the entire trilogy of Ninja Gaiden of the NES. I'm even checking out the 3D, uh, the 3D Ninja Gaiden games. For some reason, for a guy that only has ever played Ninja Gaiden 1, I have a really weird obsession with Ruha Yamusa. <laughs> like, he's awesome. Is it Ninja Gaiden? Yeah, Ninja Gaiden. Absolutely Ninja Gaiden. I don't even know what I don't even know where it comes from. Head exploding. <laughs> if you not drop insta kill. Ninja guiding. Also, go fight them. What if I became a great buggy? Lullaby. What if I became a great buggy with a sleep weapon? Pretty sure this guy has the skills of better sleep. Okay, must good. I don't even remember. Each mask does something when you do the pinging in your in your controller or you know the post menu. Buggy. Now that's a cool guy. Look at this. Look at this cool guy. Damn! Look at this generic soldier. Team leader. I like that one for single player. That's okay. Sleep. Oh, negate sleep. Oh, a nice attack. Ooh. But fire attack sucks, but that's fine. It's just... Don't use that fire, that's it. Oh, that's really nice then. That's also really, really good. But if I became a great buggy, because why the hell not? And I become a... The Ice Master, whose ice is nice. Balco. Yeah, basically a uh, team leader, which is fine because Sakalaka is stronger. Recovery speed, that's fine. I mean, negate sleep is whatever, depends on the monster. And, you know, ice damage is, you know, ice is nice. Now the question is which monsters are weak to ice? And I think many Elder Dragons are weak to ice, I think. Like many late game monsters are either weak to ice and dragon. Now which one? I don't even know, dude. I have one of defense. It could be killing um, Diablo. Yeah, you have Diablos and I think you have Black Diablos too. I don't even know if you have Monoblos in here. Do you have Monoblos in here or that was in 4? Which is a really stupid design. Monoblos is literally a Diablos but with one horn. That's it. There's no more difference. Maybe I'll find a buggy later. Why the hell not? Wait, no, just to make something different. I became a buggy, okay. And I need... The only thing I need a nice weapon. And that's when I can get a switch out of ice. 
Watch me beating the game just looking like this, like an idiot. Like the standard armor. <laughs> We're fighting like Yakrus. I mean, it's not a true fight, but... Hey... Where's the Texas? The Lagiagro is back, boys. No. He's not killing you. I think he's just scared of the thing, and that's it. There are the Sea Drago. Repelagiacrus. He might kill me. Like, my defense is shit, and I finally remember, like, Yagrus actually kicks ass. Status. Okay, I have 55 of defense. How do I have 55 of defense? 1, 1, 1, 1. What? Huh? Whatever. Lost in blue. I mean, I can't. I could try to repel like Yagrus and then come back tomorrow, maybe. Or I can just grind for for the buggy armor because I'm in the mood. But then again, I need ice weapon for buggy for buggy armor to actually use it properly at least. Ah, what the least special like Yakus. Let's see what this big blue fist has to offer. But I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if I actually die and fail the mission. Hello. Give me a bread. Bread forever. The meal was simple, but appealing. Okay, remember, this is not the true fight, this is Repel a la Yacruz. it's not Hunt a la Yacruz. I think this is halfway through the game. No. The time of reckoning has come. Kid, you're gonna defeat Le the Lagiacrus with the standard armor <laughs> and some Jaggy. <laughs> the Jaggy Greatsword. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, do you know something I really like from World or Ride, whatever, whichever implemented it first? The weapon tree. You can actually see what you're building into. Unlike this game. And you can actually repair the weapon back to the other state if you don't like what you have or for some reason. Wait, it said Area 5, right? I think it said Area 5, so I just. Oh yeah, that was a problem that nobody really enjoyed that. Oh, every weapon looks similar. Really, really similar. Another word W.
Many weapons look the same, and that was kind of disappointing. Ah, it's fine. Oh, no like Yagros over here. Because the dude says zone 8, area 8, and I was like, no. Area 10. But yeah, that's probably one of the coolest things they ever done in, with the blacksmith. In this one, is like, oh, you created this thing? Fuck you. That's all you get. So now I guess I can look for what is a nice weapon, either great sword or sweet axe. I mean, maybe the best move would be a switch axe because I've never been a big fan of elemental or status elements uh, great swords. They are, I'd say they are not bad, but it's just. You know what they want in my great sword? Big damage number, that's it. <laughs> Everything else is an extra. With switch axe, you can do a lot of cool stuff with elemental damage and stuff like that. Hello. Oh! Not the full weapon. <laughs> you know, in reality, every single weapon is irrelevant except the hunting horn. <laughs> the, the only single weapon that matters. Alaya Cruz Prepare to be repelled Hey pit 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 There you go My beloved <laughs> We miss you buddy We absolutely miss you every day As I said, he's in he's in generation, but he's not like Yagrus. It's like I don't remember the name, but it was like, it's a white like Yagrus that he doesn't go underwater. I'm tired. Because this map, this Moga Forest is in generations. But you cannot go underwater because swimming it's only in in three. So there are three, no, only two parts of the map that are gone, or three. Dure! Quickly now, he soon will drop the like, Yakuz. He didn't do that much damage. That, would, that should be real damage. I'm fine. Listen, if Gormagala can be back, Lagiagus can be back. Absolutely. Lord he come Yikes. How oh, is my uh, resistance to thunder? Oh zero okay. Fine. Let's go, Ryu Hayabusa picks the student. Who has the strong is a drop? Oh shit. The stronger is a drop gets the Gaiden. Oh shit. 
well. If you not drop is such a gold like move, it's insane. How do IRL if you not drop? That's his beast! Goblin Lantern. Remember, you need to break Goblin's Lantern to get Goblin's Lantern. I know it sounds silly, but trust me, don't forget about that. Just focus on breaking the thing. Pain. Okay, then we get the guts out of here. So we have a huge monster who's a menace to everyone that lives in the island and the cats are fighting me That's monster hunter for you That's how monster hunter works Everybody hates you, especially with fungos That's a really good one, actually. Paintballs are so stupid that they are gone in the, in the future games. Yeah. Good cut. A part of me really miss the paintballs. But at the, the same time, it's like, why? Who even cares? I don't know the name, but Fluid Forest, you get out of the camp, the effect will on the right. Like, you get out of the camp and you can get to a, a bunch of them. It's the first one on the right. And then you just go to the... Where the next area... When you go to the next area, there's like a big plant next to it. I don't know the numbers. Break camp, you get off the camp in the fluid forest. Then, in that area, when you get out, the first one on the right. Oh shit. Yikes. Oh, it's on the left. Ah, uh, this is a bad idea. Never mind. Oh, 
let's go to to animation. Okay, and they want to fight him. Now we are fighting in his territory. And he's pissed! I mean, these are repel missions, so... What catching spot? No, it's... To get frog, it is a plant. Like, okay, listen, you get out of the camp, and in that area, as soon as you get off the camp, you go to, straight to the right. Then there's only, like, one exit to this area, and right next to this place to change the area, to go to the next one, there's, like, a big plant next to it. You, ha you can fight... But you can find frogs in there. It's a plant. Dude, I shouldn't run out of stamina all the time because of stupid rice. Like, in rice, you rarely run out of stamina, that okay? Oh god. I am bully charged. He's not fully charged by the way. Now he's a menace. No, he's actually dangerous. And he can be even more dangerous after after a while. Dangerous, dangerous. Okay. Hey, you! I win. Just a slap. Just a slap in the head, punk. Get out of my island. <laughs> so that's it. Monster repelled. That's how we do it over here. Why, why do I need so much time? Like, I don't have the monster. Oh, I just remember, there's a really, really cool monster in this game. Which I'm still surprised is not in Ward or Rise. The Jen Moran. Or Darren Moran. That fight is awesome. That's an insane fight. You're fighting a whale in the desert on a boat. Outstanding boss fight. Are you the wyvern sleeps? Yes. Yeah, sure. I mean, it took you a while, that means uh, I didn't give you the right directions. <laughs> but uh, you found it. Even though with my bad directions, it's fine. Hunter player, not running for anything. Hi. 
Yeah, you can fish now, I know. You did it, you spook like Yakrus. Yeah, that me. Queen of the Land. Racian, yo. Rathian. Dragon Lady Yo, this motherfucker This motherfucker, yeah mm. I think I'm done for today <laughs> Cool hunting I mean a bit like Yagros, a bit the game, right? Here's the cover. How do you... Uh, you need to keep equip frog and press Y. But you can only use frog in... When you, you can fish. It's not anywhere on the, on the water. It's where you are supposed to fish. Yeah, like a potion, you know, like a potion, a mega potion. You put that thing, get where you can fish, press Y through the frog, that's it. Like Yak Small. Yeah. Fast, wait, fast chart. Oh, that's the, the juice. Great sword and hammer charge attack. Ooh! What if I became like Yagrus himself? Skill to increase damage when striking body parts upon. What if I became like Yagrus? Damn! I mean, I think, I don't know, I swear I remember fishing a goal with a frog. It's been a long time, maybe, maybe I'm lying. I'm telling you, it's been a while. I just remember the number one rule of the stream, I lie. I think that's a lot of great jaggies. Ninety-five percent chance of success. How am I feeling so much? How do you fail that much? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm leaving for today. 
think I had enough. It was fun though. I mean, this game is fun, even though it seems like I don't give a shit about anything, because I'm barely reading. But this is Monster Hunter dialogue, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. <laughs> the only dialogue that matters is Guild Sweetheart and Village Chief. Sending Funis. Who's sending Funis at this time? <laughs> Why can't you just load the picture? It's giving you the big screen. The only person that has ever out smoke. Snoop Dogg. Damn. <laughs> Absolutely. The only one. <laughs> this dude's village is about to fucking implode because of Palagia Cruz. And he just is smoking and laughing. Insane. That's on self made, so that means it's homemade. <laughs> really cool. Absolutely really cool, boys. The first Monster Hunter meme. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like get this. This is for me to say. I mean, I guess maybe tomorrow I can grind a little bit for an armor. <laughs> Even if it's the buggy one. I can, I can easily hand the buggy. So yeah, it's... I mean, pretty sure if I play good enough, I can just beat the entire game looking like this. <laughs> but hey, whatever. Um, I'll see what's up tomorrow. Thanks for watching, boys. This is uh, the end of the day. And it was fun. Because Monster Hunter is fun. Even though I look like I don't give a shit about anything. I am just here for the thrill of whatever. I really like the game. And it's fun and enjoyable. Like everything in life. But yeah, th thanks for watching, guys. Um, take care, okay? Have a nice... Um, you know, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you're into. You know, the good one. Have the good one. And yeah, thanks for watching. Wait, before leaving, let me check something. How many missions are left? Just out of curiosity. Ul That's how we took the ultimate. Missions. Moga Village Quest. It's just curiosity. Three star. <clears throat> what does the X mean? Oh, you need to beat this once. Oh, so you four star. So we need nine stars. And I'm on four. Never mind. Wait a second. Be just curiosity, nothing else. Oh, you can hunt a lot in a single player. Remember, in the real Monster Hunter 3, you cannot hunt a Latreon, Jen Moran, and Devil Joe on single player. Oh, it's only... Uh... It's five stars. Like, dude, I'm on, like, what? I'm on four stars, like tomorrow I can finish the game if I want to. <laughs> what? 
I mean, I will hunt everything, but most likely tomorrow I'll, I'll fight the final boss, maybe. Then I will go... Wait, really? That feels underwhelming. I mean, you unlock the six star quest, which, you know, the... Raytheon, Royal Ludro, Great Jaggy. Pink Ration. But this single player, you know what? I, w I mean, I might do this. Well, I'm surprised. So tomorrow I can actually beat Seateus? No way. I mean, I still want to check out online if, you know, if player is up to. <laughs> and, you know, just have something cool. Guild quest, I think. Hand one die with Alice. Yeah, I mean, the, the objective would be the die with Alice, but that's online only. And I'm not going there alone. You got that piece like Yagus Horse. Awesome. How awesome he is. But yeah, as I said, I mean, I will absolutely don't mind dedicate one day to Monster Hunter. Even, even when Thaddeus is gone and stuff like that is gone. Nice, dude. Broke the bo the bo gobul The Gobulu. So think about it, that means... Padapon 3 can be closer than we thought about it. I maybe, even if I beat tomorrow Thaddeus, maybe this entire week will be Monster Hunter week. And as I said, if Kako is up to it, I'll, I'm up to do like every Friday or every Saturday, if I can. Please some online and that's it. To try and beat Dair Miralis. <laughs> that will take time because we will have to grind for some cool stuff, but hey, it's, you never know. Maybe someone join. <laughs> Dair Miralis, the final boss of the online. But you know, it's... I guess tomorrow we'll see what's up. It's weird, like, whatever. I'm going to save again. <laughs> Point is, I like game. And maybe we're closer to Padabon 3 than we thought. Damn. <laughs> okay, now on a serious note, uh, I'm out. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for staying here. I hope you enjoy Monster Hunter. I enjoy Monster Hunter. I said many times, there's a chance that there is more Monster Hunter this year if I'm still around here. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for watching guys, take care, okay? Have a good one, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, have a good everything. You have a good one. For me, it's, if nothing happens, it's tomorrow more of the same. You know, maybe it's possible final boss, but whatever. Oh yeah, bye boys, take care. Take care, have a good one. And have a good nourishment, if you need to nourishment. And don't forget about this. The only person that has outsmoked out Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, bye boys. Take care.